Hello everybody and welcome back to another Saints game day and we have a lot of nice games in store but before we introduce us we're going to introduce ourselves once again I'm Matthias also known as Matthias and I'm joined here by Theo the Holy One how are you doing today? Doing good good it's a beautiful afternoon here on Saturday we got as you said a couple of exciting games we have Overwatch and Valorant today on the menu so first of all it's going to be Overwatch it's going to be our Saints of varsity team taking on Fisher College that's going to be a very very good match both teams 6-0 and so far in the group stages so should be an absolute banger here and as you, as you can see taking a look at the standings there's only six teams that have gone 6-0 and so uh, no matter what these matchups today are going to be very very tough for all our teams but our Saints Saints are definitely going to look uh, to put the pressure on today and win out against these very, very strong teams. Yeah, for sure. They had their work cut out for them here as <laughs> both teams are flawless right now. So it's just going to see who takes this first flaw on their record. And we got to talk about this elephant in the room. The Fisher team name is called the Fisher Freaks. So we're going to see some fun stuff from them. I'm sure they're up at the top of the leaderboard here with the Saints. So we're going to be in it for a good time. There's been a lot of changes with Season 10, so I'm really excited. I think the meta's in a very good place. But going back, we're going to talk about our other games we have here today just to do a quick review before we dive right in to that Overwatch match. Well, after that, we're going to have our next round of Swiss after that. And today is the last round of Swiss in the Overwatch Collegiate Championships, or the last day of Swiss. So after that, we're going to be moving on to the group stages. And then following that, around four, we're going to have some C-Val College Valorant. That's going to be up against Concordia St. Paul. Should be a good game, but I think the Saints are favored to win that one. Yeah, Saints are definitely big favorites. They are the one seed, and they're going to be going up against the AC. So, yeah, expected for them to be winning that one uh, with in pretty dominant fashion, but still upsets are possible. So Saints can't overlook anything. But as you said, probably feeling very confident going into this one. Yeah, looking very, very confident. No new characters, no uh, no Clover for yeah. <laughs> C-Val right now. A little bit of a contentious champion. But speaking of new heroes in Overwatch, we have a new hero. It's going to be Venture. They are a new DPS-type hero. They have a drill. They like to dig in the ground. They're very, very mobile and... Very, some people love them, some people hate them. What do you think, Theo? I have no idea. I haven't really <laughs> played Adventure too much recently. I've seen some gameplay, but I just haven't experimented much. Uh, I don't I don't know if they're able to whip out Venture here in this we matchup, don't. but I don't think we're going to see it, okay. <laughs> even if it's possible. Probably not. Probably it's not. legal and competitive, I'm pretty sure, but they aren't really. <laughs> they probably aren't in play here. But they're very strong. Their main attack does 70 damage if you land the projectile. Their drill dash, good for mobility, kind of like a Genji dash. Doesn't reset on kill, though. And then they also have their burrow. Very strong ability, very slow, but you get pretty much complete immunity out of any team fight, and you can also go in for some fights. And with every ability Venture has, they're passive. They get shields yeah. every single time they use an ability. And then their ultimate, probably the strongest thing in their kit. I think it does 150 per burst, and you get four shots. 150? And Jesus. it also charges very, very quickly, like faster than a Genji Blade. It is insane. Very, very strong character in the right hands, but very difficult to play against and very difficult to play as as well. Yeah. I mean, new character, it's going to be hard to play while everyone learns how to play. Uh, play the character, play against it, and obviously very short range character. Uh, uh, again, we'll watch, there's a lot of counter picks to each short and long range character. So on some maps, it's possible that Venture could be pretty useful, but on like the longer sniper maps, definitely not the pick you want to go that, for. That's definitely the case. And those long chokes where you have to kind of walk down a hallway, very, very bad hero to pick, very tough to take fights against Widow, longer range. Absolutely. Even medium range characters like Cassidy, because of yeah. that magnetic grenade, shuts yeah. down all of Venture's abilities. Very, very good counter. So there's counterplay. Venture is definitely not overpowered, but against some matchups, it definitely feels that way. Yeah, without a doubt. So it's going to be interesting to see if Venture can really get put into the meta. But as of uh, speaking of meta, things we've seen a lot of lately, Soldier and Tracer have kind of been the staples on the DPS side of things. Tank-wise, it's been pretty flexible. You can see Orisa from a lot of teams. Winston also getting picked up here and there. Doomfist here and there. So 
Uh, meta is pretty interesting, and there's lo obviously supports usually Lucio Kiriko have kind of been staples for a while now. So Sword and Tracer, Lucio Kiriko is something we're probably going to see from both sides. It's just maybe the tank that there's going to be a bit of a difference in. Yeah, the tank, we've been seeing a lot of variety, which is interesting. Usually we see there's one or two tanks, like yeah. a tank and then a counter tank that we usually see. But it's pretty, the meta is pretty, pretty well varied right now. Uh, I think Doomfist got some buffs recently as well, so I think we're going to start seeing that more and more. But with all that being said, we're going to throw it to a quick break and we'll be right back with our next game.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We're just about to get into our first round of Swiss against Fisher College. And St. Clair has their work made up for them. Both teams are flawless right now. I can't wait to see what's going to happen here. No Looking at the lineup, here we are. We have Please Res Me. If that's a name change there. I haven't seen that one before. On the Soldier, oh, Noxious. On the DPS as well. Three, Tread being the main two, tank here. One. Soaks Round on the one. Lucio. Red X. Yeah, and on the other side is going to be Love, Sloth, Avani, Unred, and Ab. So, going to be some different team compositions here. Saint's going to choose to go for that Sigma composition, while Fisher are going to be going for the Orisa. It's still the same teams all around on the, everywhere else, but it's just the tanks are going to be a bit different than. See if Nox can get anything early on the Tracer. Nothing early found there. No picks coming out for either side. It looks like both Tracers are going to try and contest the point here, but Sloth is going to blink into the open. It's going to get taken out by Noxious. It's a good start for the Saints, as Noxious is going to be on this point, just trying to get the flip over to their side. Let's see how easy it's going to be for him. Fisher are doing a good job of contesting him here, but finally it looks like Saints are going to get the cab coming through, and Trez has been able to buy time here against the Aris on this right side of Saints. Take control of the first cab. Yeah, now they're just battling it up for this first cap here. They have it, but still being taken over by Fisher. And oh, Soaks just falls off the edge of Lucio. That's disastrous right there. And now they're down to support. They're going to have to back out of here, but it looks like <laughs> Sojourn is going to lead the charge right now with Tread. Getting out Risa very, very, very low in this cure gold. They can't quite do it. This the Risa ult still very low. They get the kill. And now with the tank down, they can just go on the back line and try and push through the choke. Saint's going to win this uh, team fight. Uh Nice picks there from Sojourn. Sloth dying early on this tracer. It's not a good sign for them. Now Saint's gonna find uh, some staggers as they look to push into the spawn of Fisher. And if anything more and those doesn't look like it. Fisher invested a couple of ultimates of their own in that team fight. They used the Aris ultimate alongside the Kirkov ultimate and they still lost that team fight. Now Saints gonna have a four ultimates of their own here. Let's see how they decide to use their ult here. It should be probably the Sigma ult coming out first, maybe looking for early pick, or maybe Noxious with a post bomb could find something. Tread forced to use a lot of cooldowns early, has to back up as it's gonna be Fisher on the point, trying to get the flip over halfway done now. The contest should be coming through from the Lucio here as the Sojourn ult does get popped. Nice shots there. Love falls on early. Beautiful B drop as well. Keeps the Sojourn alive. Flip still didn't come through as the Sojourn has to be careful on 30 HP. Will stay alive as Tread is just buying a lot of time here. Fisher down a member now. Gonna stagger a little bit here as this Arissa won't be able to make it out alive. Should be going down early here, but actually Tread's gonna get boobed. Uses his ultimate to stay alive as Avani does fall down. The staggers should come through for St. Clair. They're gonna find the cleanup kills here. They're gonna find a lot here tried finds a couple soft gets a couple back alongside love but after this Kiriko drops it's looking very good for the Saints yeah looking very very good for the Saints up against Fisher right now and they did have to commit quite a few too many ultimates there tread forced to use the ult worked out for them in the end but still of that Sigma ult, sure not just as a ult plan, they still have third ult, but it's not going to help them too much if Fisher gets on the point here with both of this team. Moving in for the Saints, answer with one of their own. First team down here, Soaks is moving in and out, trying to keep his team up. Pump's going to flip over to Fisher, now the Saints are going to have to back up. Yeah, Noxious falling first I mean, Saints can really win that fight. They don't just don't have the damage to compete with Fisher who had that Tracer alive and it's a great fight for Fisher. They're looking to stagger hard here. They're going to get Tread all the way in the spawn of the Saints. As it's a great fight for Fisher. Only using a couple of ultimates. Still going to have that Arisa uh, ultimate on the first side of the Saints. Not coming up too close on any ultimates themselves. They should get that... Uh, Sojourn and Sigma ultimate relatively soon, but if Fisher can look quickly here with an Arisa ult, that's going to be their key to victory. This is being a force in a position where they can't play for time anymore. This is at this point just once. They can't be able to play too push here. This is the two lost in fights, and Fisher will be able to take this point here. And they're doing an amazing job of the Saints off. So Arisa leading the charge. If they need this defensive terror search, they got it, but they don't seem to need it as Sloth is just messing up the back line here and the Sigma getting very, very low and taken down by Love as well. And the Saints just struggling to push through this first point. Yeah, Saints 
burning a lot of time on that one. Only built up the Sigma ultimate. Gonna have that Soul Jolt. Gonna have four ultimates coming into this fight. But Fisher should be first to that uh, Kirko ultimate, which could be the deciding ultimate in this fight. And we're about to get underway 90% and taking. Let's see who decides to use what. How? There's the beat drop coming in aggressively. It looks like Fisher want to get in there. Nice Arisal to make sure that the team is a bit split up from one another. But the beat drop comes out from St. Clair College. They're going to get a touch here, but the Kirko ult is first here from the side of Fisher, and they're going to have this for a long time. Reddick still far away from his, as that's going to be a pick onto Soaks. Please Resmi going to go down as well. Noxious drops, Reddick drops. It's going to be all up to Tread here, who's going to go down as well. And just like that, first round goes over to Fisher College. Yeah, what a comeback from Fisher there as well. I cannot believe that that happened. The Saints, 99 of the point, flips it over, just unable to take it back. I think that where it all fell apart there was Tread just missed the, the signal. Just a little bit too short of that Arisa. Maybe he could have tried to cancel out the Arisa, but still, it was very good gameplay for Fisher all around. It was a good comeback from Fisher, as you said. They played around their ultimates very well, and they chose to take the initiative. You can see they engaged with the beast drop there, not waiting to play reactive. So a good play from them, and then just easily won the fight with that Kirko ultimate. Now, we're going to be having a Orisa match coming up from Tread on this map. Uh, probably a little bit better than Sigma here. So let's see how they decide to play this one. Please, Resmi going to drop immediately here for St. Clair College. As Fisher should be able to easily maintain uh, this space here and uh, might make their way over to the point. But I think Sojourn will be back in time to the point where Fisher won't have it complete for free. Maybe St. Clair can get a contest, but it looks like St. Clair are willing to give up a bit of a space here. And Noxious maybe get a tap on this point. Doesn't look like it. Uh, Saints not going to decide to go for the point. Just going to look for the straight up fight. Noxious is going to get taken out to 1 HP. Avani is on low HP as well. On that Arisa. Can the Saints find him? No. The flip comes over for Fisher. But Saints do have the high ground. Tredge is going to drop right in the middle of their whole team. Nice little spear on the Arisa who's at 1 HP. Can they take down Avani? Yes, they do. It's a great start to the fight for the Saints. They should be able to clean this one up. And there's no tank on the other side. Sojourn should be dropping in just a second here. Lucio gonna fall down as uh, now Fisher are just staggering here. They've lost this fight. They need to reset quickly. Love does pick up Noxious, but nice kills from the Saints as they take the first point. Yeah, they flip the point back over to themselves. And now, with the retake, they just have to play the Fisher game, not let themselves get back onto the point here. Tread in the high ground. Looks like they're gonna play a little bit further back, play the flank here on the right side. They're playing very aggressive here, waiting for them to go on the side here. Bonnie moving in very, very quickly. Dueling these, this, the other Orisa here. Soloing out the Kiriko, taking him down one clean hit here. Now taking the capture as well, just shoving the Saints off the point. Tread very, very low, but Bonnie very low as well. The supports keep him up, and now all that's left is the DPS, and they just pick them off one by one by one. And that is going to be the point, flipping back over to Fisher. Fisher only needed to use one ultimate. Reddix got caught on one percent away from his Kitsune rush and that instantly wins the fight for Fisher Colleges now. And it's going to be a lot of ultimates ready for both sides. St. Clair definitely have the advantage now coming back into this fight but it's going to be Fisher with the positioning on the high ground here. Let's see how Saints decide to take it over. No ults used just yet. Reddick's going to use that Kitsune rushes instantly. They take down the Soldier and a great start for the side of St. Clair College. Let's see how Fisher decides to respond here down their Soldier. They're going to use the beat drop, but Avani didn't get that one. Instantly falls down. Soaks does fall, but no tank for the side of Fisher. This should be St. Clair's fight. Please, Resmi, has to be careful here. Doesn't get taken down with that pulse bomb on red. He's on 1 HP. Sloth actually going to be able to pick up the Soldier here on red. Does get taken down, but it looks like Fisher are still staying in this one. Somehow Sloth takes down Reddix. The beat drop is forced out from Soaks here. Saints desperately want to win this fight, but Tread goes down as well. Noxious finds a trade onto Abs. This is just the soldier left here alongside the Orisa. Saints trying to win this one, but Fisher somehow going to capture the point as Saints are forced back. Soaks falls yet again. Yeah, the Saints doing an amazing job at just holding this point. And this is going to be a very close one. They're just neck and neck in terms of score right now. Fisher sure in the lead. They have the ults. But the Saints get one good push. If Rez uses this ult effectively, they could turn the tides here. One good overclock. Change this out. There it is. There's the overclock. There's the Terra Surge. 
Rez getting one, but Love getting one right back. There's a trade. Red X taking one down as well. Saints in the lead, I'd say, in terms of trades, taking down the support. Tread chasing this Arisa all the way back to the point here. It's like, do not play aggressive with me. I can play just as aggressive, taking him down. Now Noxious taking one down as well. And the Saints gonna cap the point at 95% for Fisher. They get it. Uh, somehow Abs did fall down. If he was just able to stay alive and use that uh, Kirikal ultimate, that would have been the map going over to Fisher College. But now Saints give themselves a chance. Abs still has that Katsune rush. Red X at 80%. So I'd like to see Fisher just rush to this point. Use that Katsune on there and fight on the point. But Red X needs to play safe. If he gets that Katsune rush later into the fight without any of the members from the Saints dropping, that's going to be a fight win for the Saints. As he's going to be able to do so, Abs uses that Katsune rush pretty early on. They're going to be able to get the flip, but Saints just trying to wait for their own. Red X actually going to fall down. Doesn't get that Katsune rush off. That's a disaster for the side of the Saints, but somehow Love goes down to please. Resme Noxious doing so much damage in the back line. Tread actually going to eat that post bomb. Please Resme finds another pick onto the Tracer here. Nice shots from the Sojourn, but Noxious does fall still. 3v3 situation. Red X going to be on his way back with that Katsune rush, as it looks like Fisher actually getting forced back here. A great, great fight from the Saints. They're going to get the flip back, and now they have both support ults. He'll please, please Resme. Going to find one more pick on that soldier. Now Saints gonna look to run them down here. The Symmetra's picked up here for Side of Fisher, but they're all gonna get taken down. It's just a Tracer on this point. Should be going down in just a second. Just like that, the round goes over to the Saints. And now it looks like we're gonna be going over to point three. An amazing comeback from the Saints. They just have to keep this Lucio off, and they do. There's the beat, but a little too late for that. False one missed, but it doesn't matter. We're going to the next point here. Great round from both teams there. Fisher definitely had the, a big advantage there, but Saints were able to come up clutch and bring it back for themselves. So now, a uh, one round apiece. Probably going to be the same at Mirror Class, but you can see these two teams are just so evenly matched. Yeah, it seems like Arisa is definitely the play here on the tank. Just affords so much tankiness here. Just Make yourself a problem, take so much attention, and they can't ignore you. If they do, you're gonna be stunned, you're gonna be out of luck, and then you also have so much to answer to bulk yourself up. It's a great team comp all around, on both sides. This Metro Boost gonna be crazy here. Back on the Tracer as well. Play. Oh, 20 seconds. Who's gonna be the first one to take this point? Spears come through from Tread. Saints definitely like their position a little bit more because Tread could find a random pick off the map with a spear. Fisher has to be very, very careful here. Love gonna get a nice body shot there onto Please Resume, but not gonna find the pick just yet. Nice flank coming out from Noxious as well. Does force his recall though. So Saints are gonna look for something early here. Red is gonna get hit by a spear as well. But Fisher is gonna be dropping a member. Love falls down to Tread. That's a great start for the Saints. Nice boop in from Soaks. Can the Orisa die here maybe for the side of Fisher? Sloth gonna get taken out to 1 HP. Use the recall to stay alive there. Soldier and gonna be able to stay alive. Red X actually falls down for the side of the Saints as Fisher now has a lot more sustain, but Sloth will fall down to Soaks. No damage uh, characters left here for Fisher. They're gonna be simply forced to back up a little bit, but they're actually gonna look to push their advantage. I don't know how they can really get in here now. The cleanse used very early on. Please res me. Just kiting the Lucio here. Will stay alive. The Kirko ultimate used early on. Soak's gonna look to counter engage with his beat drop here. Saints are looking to keep this point alive as they have the capture. Beautiful cleanse there from Redix, keeping everyone alive. He's gonna have his tuna rush coming up in just a second. Let's see if the Saints have to use a big post bomb. Even Bigger cleanse coming up from Abs, making sure on Red doesn't die there. Reddick's gonna use, use that Katune rush in just a second here. Now they're gonna take over. They have the, enough damage here. So many ults used from both sides, but Saints gonna come out on top in the end. Yeah, Saints are doing a good job keeping this point moving. They're gonna get really put to 60% for this next team fight. Four flips over potentially. So they're in a very good spot right now. But in terms of all economy, it's looking like Fisher is going to have the advantage going into the next fight. Or actually, it's looking pretty much equal. Just an overclock and a terror surge on both sides, too. Very threatening ultimates. If Fisher plays this right, they might be able to flip this one out. Rez in the back line trying to get rid of this tracer. It's just so dang tricky. There is the overclock on the side of Love. Don't see any kills. There it is. There's one. Slothing out another. Tread finding one on red. Gonna be taken down Rez as well. That is gonna be all the Saints going down. Just one left. That's gonna be it. 
at 78%. The point flips to Fisher. Yeah, both a soldier and use their ultimate at the same time. Their love just able to find the more crucial picks there. And the fight goes over to Fisher. Only one ult use from both sides. Fisher getting that Kiriko ultimate way quicker than the Saints could prove vital here in this next team fight. If Avs can build that one up, can force Saints to use maybe a couple ultimates of their own. And just use that continuing rush to close out the fight. That's probably the path to victory for them here. 80% and counting four abs now. Noxious is gonna have that pulse bomb tread, gonna have that terror surge, but Love playing very aggressively here on the high ground. Nobody can really uh, pressure him here as the Kirkle forced to cleanse actually very early on. It's a good start to the fight for the Saints. Please rest me. Very low HP on that uh, soldier. And Renek's gonna fall down though to Love from that railgun shot. That's disastrous for the Saints. Love gonna find tread and now Saints forced to regroup, kind of losing a fight without really taking one. Yeah, losing a fight before it even starts, that's going to be very rough for the Saints. Because now Fisher definitely going to catch up in terms of points. They have to regroup, find the optimal over and try and push through once again. Body still has that terror surge, but Saints don't have much to answer it. They have the sound barrier, but that's going to be a hit. Noxious against the false bomb, but against the reset. Not much. Have to find somebody on this back line. And continue rush going to be used from Redix very early on. Fisher only have that Orisa ultimate to maybe sustain, but the beat drop going to come out from Unred. Nice sticky bomb coming out from Noxious as Avani gets completely melted. This should be a fight win for the Saints. Uh, Fisher may, can maybe get a couple picks back. Might be turnable, but doesn't look like that's the case. Unred going to go down. Sloth going to go down as well as Saints. Uh, finally flip the point. 80% in count. It's going to be one final fight to decide who wins the map here. One final fight. This is going to be it. Will Fisher be able to take this woman back, or do the Saints have this one lockdown? It's all on the line right here. Who will take the lead in the series? This is only a best two out of three here in the Swiss round, so every map matters that much more. It's looking like the Saints are going to get it all the way up to 99, but there's the overtime. Just have to keep them all at bay, and it's going to be a tough job to do. There's the overclock on the side of Love. We've seen him do go crazy on it before, but Rez answers with one of his own. Love finds one. Can Rez find a kill in return? No, he cannot, as he's just missing these shots, but he finds the tank, which is going to matter that much more. Gets oh. stuck, and that's going to be a double kill with the Sticky, as Sloth takes out three, and it's going to flip over now with no one left to contest. Sloth wipes out for the Saints, and now will there be a contest here? There might be a contest. Let's see if Lucio can maybe get it. Nice play there from Sloth, who's gonna take a raise down to one HP. Looks like the Saints might be able to touch here, and they do. But the continuing rush comes out from Abs. Red is gonna fall down first yet again. Please rest me. Goes down as well. Tread is on the Doomfist, but Saints just don't have the numbers to really compete here. Nox is gonna have to find five kills with this pulse bomb, basically. But that's gonna be it. Boobs off the point. A nice map from Fisher. They get the comeback win on that third one as well, as they're gonna be taking a 1-0 lead in the series. Yeah, taking the 1-0 lead now. Saints forced to make this a game three or bust here, taking the first loss in Swiss. And of course, this is the play of the game. What else could it be? Sloth single-handedly turned the tide of that fight into an absolute one-sided fight for Fisher. I mean, four kills in just a few seconds. Great plays all around. Yeah, it was a very competitive first map, basically 99-99 on every single point, but Fisher just had that one extra team fight in them to take the map, so they put themselves on match point, looking to go 7-0, our Saints going to have to win the next two maps to get back into this one. Yeah, it's going to be a tough fight in the next game, and Fisher probably feeling very, very comfortable. This team is nothing to be trifled with. It's one of the best of the best. But we're going to have even more games after a quick break, and we'll see you there.
Hello, everybody. We're just about to get into game two here. Fisher College, the Fisher Freaks, took down St. Clair in game one. But now in game two, Saints are looking to answer here. Yeah, they're going to look to answer. And I believe we got word. We're going in to Hollywood. So let's take a look at the lineups. Uh, it's gonna be. I think the soldier just has the random, uh, random name generator thingy. It's oh, a, it's a okay. thing now, like streamer mode. You can it changes your name every oh, it game. Does. I see. So I think that's what the Saints are going with, and uh, it's gonna be Saints on the defensive side, Fisher on the attack uh, this time. Not something you really see, but uh, too often. Usually when you win the first map, you like to defend first. But it's gonna be Fisher on the attack, and they're going for a very interesting comp on the brig, a Diva. Cassidy and a Tracer Saints gonna be going for the same comp they've gone with this whole series, but they're gonna play the Winston instead. For the Winston here, of course. This is looking to be, I'd say, I'd give the comp over to Saints for what we usually see. But if Fisher can play this one out, it should be pretty interesting already. We see the Tracers do each other's slot and back out to his team. Now the tanks are engaging here in this corner. Eva flying right over, leaving up Tread to the side. Does he want to go help his team on the back line? Or does he want to take down the back line for himself? Eva goes down very, very quickly there. Not going to be able to be taken down, but Soaks is going to be the one to finish that one out. With no tank, Fisher is going to be picked off one by one now. Not a good first push for the side of Fisher. Can't find anything as Avani just got completely evaporate I don't really like the Ana break alongside the diva because you can't really follow up on the diva engages and Winston can so easily just block off the healing to the diva if you're tracer and soldier and just shoot that diva a little bit you're gonna see Avani get demacked very very quickly so I don't know Fisher's game plan for this one is too good Saints would love to full hold here let's see how they decide to play this defense there's a diva taken down to one HP and she's gonna be demacked instantly yet again Tread gonna be getting out and they force out the cleanse as well the Saints doing a good job defensively here Sloth is on the flank it's on one HP can Soldier find that one but actually on the flip side looks like Saints are just pressing forward gonna find a kill but Noxious will fall down Soak's gonna fall down as well as it looked like Saints have overcommitted a little bit of post bomb forces out Tread's ultimate here but he has no real support taking down to half HP Red X falls as well and in the blink of an eye it's Fisher College who are gonna win the fight and should be taking his first point yeah, just in one quick team fight the Saints fell apart there they needed every piece of the puzzle there but without it it was just not a great fight. Now, the payload gonna go over to Fisher College. Let's see how far they can take this one. Yep. Now having to play very defensively here. This is where you want to stop the push. If it gets past here, it's gonna be very, very tough. They went Roadhog and Torbjorn here on the second point, just trying to kill the Winston. I mean, this is truly, truly revolutionary play. I've never <laughs> never seen Roadhog picked here instead of D.Va on the second point. One, one HP here on the Sojourn, will be able to stay alive. Let's see how Fisher plays this one. Sloth just gonna drop down the middle of the team. Gonna get taken down to one HP. Big post bomb, Sloth somehow still alive as they finally should be able to kill the Winston here. The hook comes through, there comes the beat, there comes the Kirko ultimate. So much use from both sides here, but it looks like Saints will be able to pick up the kill here. Avani does find the trade onto Soaks, but still the rest of his team gonna fall. A good hold from the Saints as they're able to with, withhold the high damage comp of Fisher. And they're still staggering out these supports here. It looks like Avani's gonna go down as well. The Saints gonna be able to burn a lot of time, but now there's a trade on the side of things as Love takes down Tread on the Winston. He's gonna be back there a little bit quicker though, as Winston just has those big jumps. Yeah, and Tread gonna instantly switch over to the Orissa. Doesn't wanna stay on Winston into that high damage team comp cleanse forced out early from a Love as it looks like Fisher wanna take this high ground. Reddix gonna be on one HP, but will be able to hide away there. Love with some nice headshots but not gonna find too much there. Saints going to retake this high ground. This Roadhog now is gonna be basically useless on this low ground. Still, Love gonna find the opening pick onto the ulting soldier and that's a great start for Fisher College. Avani gonna miss that hook. Noxious takes down Sloth who has that Torb. You're an ultimate. Fisher should just be falling like flies here in an instant. Avani gonna fall as well as this Roadhog composition is just not built for this second point. It looks like Saints gonna do a good job of holding on the longer the fish is stay on this roadhog tour you the better for the saints exactly they're gonna have to stick there i'm pretty sure avani's gonna try and make some use of this old same with the top torbjorn but after that i highly sense it
but he's been uh, very important for Fisher's success and Saints just need to be careful when they're peeking him. Yeah, but we're apparently having some problems on the mic. They're not working, but we're going to fix them very soon, so we're going to send it to break. <laughs> Issues are resolved, and we're in a double Kiriko ult situation here. Avani has ult charge, and so does the overclock on love, but they're all falling one by one. We're seeing trades come left and right, but Avani is standing strong on this payload. It's being carried further and further. The Saints cannot get out of their spawn right now. They're being kept at bay by Avani right now. It's getting very, very low. There's the monkey ult committed. Gonna de keep them very, very far back here, but Tread with Terra Surge can ult on this point and keep them all away. Way. There it is, getting one, looking for two, looking for the third now. Can't quite find it, but at their doorstep, it's looking like Fisher can't push it any further. Yeah, this should be a basically guaranteed hold here for the Saints. Things will have to go disastrously wrong for them not to hold this one, and that's a start. Abs picks up Red X, and one shot, one kill gets taken out by the Sojourn. They're gonna get the touch as well. 3v3 scenario on the point here. Tread still has a Terra Surge love on Widowmaker. Gonna pick up Soaks as well, as somehow Fisher are coming back into this one. Tread still having a lot of HP though here on the Sarissa. Could sit in this corner basically forever, as it looks like Fisher gonna be hitting from all angles. Abs taken down low, as finally Avani does a drop. A great start here. Love though, gonna pick off Noxious on the Widowmaker. Has found the couple here on this backside, as they're gonna be able to pick up Love finally. The hack is gonna come through in just a second. The beat drop comes through. Saints should have this one more than wrapped up. Tread on the point. Just too tanky on the Orissa. The hold comes out from the Saints, but still, the Fisher were able to push it pretty, pretty far. Very far, just at the doorstep, just a few more meters, and the Saints would have gotten, or the Fisher would have gotten all three points. But now, Saints in a very real scenario of winning this map out in a clean fashion. As long as they can carry this a little bit further, they're going to be able to win this one out. But it's still a tall order to ask with how evenly matched these teams are. Without a doubt, Tread doing a great job on Arisa, just staying alive and always uh, pumping out a damage. And it looks like Fisher don't really have an answer for him. As uh, let's see what kind of compositions we're gonna get on uh, the flip side here. Fisher definitely going for something more wonky there on first and second point, having the Sigma, having the Roadhog. Nothing, you'll, nothing, not something you'll see too often. And it looks like on the defense, they're gonna go for that on a break setup again alongside the Diva, Cassidy, and Tracer. Looks like they're going to run a very similar comp that they started with, but on the defense here, maybe it'll work out a little bit better, but like you said, you didn't love the comp too much. It was very good in a team fight when it worked, but when they're not in the perfect scenario, they have a very tough time. And do you think Tread is going to lock the ball here? I mean, it looks like it looks like Saint's going to go for an uh, interesting attacking a first point. It's looking for the picks with the Widowmaker, the Tracer Ball, gonna be kind of playing on their own here. It's, it's gonna be actually Tread going on over to the Winston. The Sojourn gonna pick up for the Saints and they're back to basics. They're playing what they're best, best at, uh, the, the Sojourn, Tracer, Winston. Here go Lucio comp, so let's see how they decide to attack this one. I think just playing it like they played the defense. Look at Avani, put a lot of damage into him. Have your Winston dive on the back line, just place a bubble, but not go too deep. and. Look to take out the diva early. Yeah, take out this diva, but not having as much success as the last time. But they just might be able to do it. They focus it. You can see health dropping steadily, but still being sustained by the support. Sloth getting very low, but going to be able to get out. Not just here on the back line, trying to take out these supports here. But he's trying not to get taken out himself. He's getting very, very low. This Cassidy headshots do so, so, so much. They're still making good progress. Already got one tick on the board here. But it looks like they're going to have to try and back out and regroup here. But no one is falling. Both teams doing very well on the sustain side. 
Yeah, but it looks like Saints finally gonna get that opening pick for themselves. Noxious gonna pick up abs as well as it's a great, great push from the Saints. Only one minute needed and they're gonna be able to find the cap here. A clean cap at that. Clean 5 for 0. No ultimates needed other than the Pulse Bomb and Fisher gonna have to reset here. This Brig Ana just hasn't really worked out for them as in the longer, not longer fights when Saints make up a lot of room, Brig Ana aren't really too mobile and can't really get out of the way of danger. Not mobile at all, and especially the verticality of this map right here. It's not something you want to have here. It's like we're having a fight up here up on the rooftops. Tread gonna go in with the Kitsune ult, try and burst them all down, trying to take out this Brig, but Brig just staying up just barely, finally gets a kill. There's the high noon, he's gonna jump out of there, gets out just in time. There's the self-destruct getting one from above there, taking out Crime. Yeah, it's gonna be a pick going on to the soldier and soaks also overextending a saint kind of a, trying to push their advantage too much now she's gonna look for the kill there onto the cassidy won't be able to find it has to dash out the cleanse comes out from medics to keep him alive but can love uh, sloth find the melee here love's gonna be able to find it avani picks up medics but he will get taken out of his mech which is very very big for the saints here tread will get slept but it's all up to this uh, diva if she can get her mech back in time before the next fight it's good but she's only 30 percent to that one sloth gonna go down as it looks like fisher kind of gonna fall apart here Avani not even close to his mech Saints gonna have a big advantage coming up here the thing is Tread just got taken down so you're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer now Avani might be able to get this mech up in time for his next fight they're only 80% Fight, but it's gonna be very very close there's the overclock coming out from crime here he finds one looking for another with the mech back up there's a lot of pressure there there's the beat drop from soaks but I think he got three of his teammates there. The rest of them just still on the attack. But it's still a good fight for the Saints. They find uh, the early picks and they're going to be able to get a lot of space here. Avani going way too aggressive here. Will get taken out of his mech here. Has Tread a nice bubble to block off the healing. Avani has to be careful, but Tread actually going to just stay up in the air there for a little bit too long. Can Noxious maybe find the post bomb? Try and turn this one. No, he misses. Love going to find a couple of nice shots there. Avani gets taken down by Noxious, but Sloth finds the trade. Soaks on 30 HP. Should be able to survive, but yet another good hold coming up for Fisher. Amazing hold from Fisher, and now the Saints have a very tough push ahead of them. There's going to be a self-destruct on the board, a high noon, and also a pulse bomb. Fisher, very good on the ultimate side, and there's no defensive ultimates the Saints can use here. They have Kitsune Rush, maybe they can find an opening there if they can get a pick, but with Love finding Soaks out of nowhere, they don't have enough sustain to push this. That's a great start again for Fisher. It should be a lot of time burnt off the clock here with Soaks falling uh, down. Sloth just trying to maintain this position here. It looks like finally Saints can look to push up. Fisher, as you said, have a lot of ultimates on red and can take him down pretty low there on the break, but we'll be able to stay alive as uh, pretty close to that rally. Let's see if Fisher decides to use their ultimates early on here. Noxious looking for the 1v1, forces out the recall early from the Tracer. This is a great play from Noxious so far, and he's going to be completely out damaging this Tracer. Should be able to find the soul kill. Pulse Bomb comes through, doesn't find anything. Tread's going to pick up abs as well. It's a great start oh, for dude. the Saints. High Noon comes out, but nothing really found with that one. There's a Diva Bomb sent at the Soldier, and yet again Soldier is going to get taken down one more time. Noxious though, going to find the pick on red gonna get taken down on the brig point two secured for the saints as they look to finish off the map here yeah they're looking to make the final push here and it's within reach just a little bit further and everything should go their way but we saw fisher a very similar scenario we're just not able to close it out the saints don't have to make it all the way to the end they just have to make it that much further than fisher it's very very possible here it's very doable but still gonna be a tough fight yeah, without a doubt, it's going to be tough. 2 minutes 45 and uh, taking here for Saints. Fish are going to go back on Roadhog. Uh, I don't really like that pick too much. I don't think it's very good here as it looks like Crime going to get down low. Going to have the cleanse come out. Early beat comes out from Soaks as well. On red, popping that rally will keep everyone alive as a couple ultimates from the Saints used here. Nothing too much found here. Tread on, switching over to the Orisa against the Roadhog. Very, very strong pick here as Avani is going to be way too far up. Does find a pick but gets straight out as well. The Nano Boost comes out onto Love. 
Salt gonna find a couple picks as it looks like Fisher gonna be able to find the initial hold here. But I think the longer the game goes, the better for the Saints because this Roadhog pick might be Fisher's demise. <laughs> Yeah, Roadhog hasn't had the best performance so far on the side of Fisher, but maybe it's just a comfort pick trying to hold this one up for as long as he can. Maybe the extra heals to feel comfortable, but wow, look at that spear from Tread taking down this Cassidy. We're still able to duel right up there with the big ones. There's a big sticky, but gets a one with the Terror Surge before Tread falls down. That's another good pick for Fisher. They'll take that one for one trade with the tank dropping any day of the week. The hook comes through from Avani as it's getting into danger territory now for the Saints. Only have really a couple fights left before this map's over and they need to not full cap the map thankfully for them. Only need to get it towards uh, close to that finish line as they were able to play the defense pretty well. Let's see how Fisher decides to respond here on the defensive side. Vani gonna get taken down low but will heal up to full HP. That's gonna be Sloth finding Soaks very early on. Can he find the kill here? Tread gonna take down Avani. The cleanse comes out for Medic to keep Soaks alive. Such good team play from the Saints here. Tread gonna find yet another one. As you can see, Fisher just can't seem to maintain the pressure here. On Red gonna do all he can on the... Uh, Break here, yeah. and he's gonna get booped back, gonna get taken out, and this should be the full cap coming up from the Saints. They're gonna take this map, and they're gonna tie it up by one apiece. Yeah, there you go, one, two, one. Both teams, you can see why both of these teams are flawless in this series, or in the Swiss round so far. But now, one will take the lead. Because Love will play the game. Yeah, the Love has been playing very, very good on these hitscan heroes. Nice shot there onto the Winston. Takes down the Sojourn as well here. One more bullet will do it. And then Soak's going to go down as well there in the end. So Love definitely the the danger player here for Fisher. Saints have to be careful not to walk into a sight line. But other than that, Saints made the right adjustments at the right times and were able to take the second map. Yeah, and now going into the next map, is it going to be a flashpoint? This follows the same thing as... Five, I'm not sure. Five point. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a flash, but could be wrong. But we'll see you then on the next point, whatever that may be. We'll see you very soon.
Hello, everybody, and we're just about to get into this third game. Fisher won the first game, and it was very close, and still very close in the second game, where they're unable to cap that final point at the end. The Saints, just to bring it that much further, but we're about to load into our second map, Shambali Monastery. I'm excited to see what we see there. There we are. I wonder if we're going to get anything funky coming out from either team here. And it looks like Saints is going to be going for the May and Ramatra style comp here. Comp here. So interesting coming out from them here. Fisher College have some wonky picks of their own, but I don't think that's going to make it out of spawn too far. Let's see if maybe Love can find an early pick on the Widowmaker, but it seems like Saints aren't gonna let that happen they're playing the rush and it's gonna be a bastion uh, coming out from fisher alongside the soldier and ab's gonna switch over to that kirko trace you're gonna pick up and, and fisher go back to the saint Clair composition with the orissa soldier tracer lucio kirko as tread gonna instantly fall down here for the side of saint Clair. that's a terrible start for the saints they want to hold close here but unfortunately they won't be able to still should be able to get a couple of fights here before this next checkpoint but definitely not a start that you want for your final scenes no, not at all avani and love just working their entire way through taking all of the saints down in no time at all now they're all to Conry, looking very good as well saints are gonna have a very tough time preventing this first point Nothing Love is going to look for early pick there on the Sojourn. Won't find anything as Tread going to switch over back to this Orisa. We're going to see complete and mirror comps from both sides. But St. Clair going to be behind on the ult economy. Both Lucios take it down to 1 HP early. No early pick coming through this yet. Tread misses on the spear there. As both teams just going to be playing around this corner. Saints will happily waste as much time as possible here. But Tread going to look to go aggressive here. We'll pop the gold and just stand in the way of everyone. Avani can to to 1 HP. We'll be forced to use the cleanse. Now is maybe Saints' opportunity to push in a little bit. But Tread actually going to choose to back up. Doesn't have any cooldowns. Has to play safe for a little bit. As both the Tracers are doing it out. Tread falls down first. And that's disastrous. Fisher College going to look to cap here as well. Finds a couple on red. Picks up Noxious. Great fight for Fisher as they have four minutes to cap the second point here. That is looking to be a very good run from Fisher so far, just not being stopped by the Saints at all. Now we're at the closer choke. Saints might have a little bit of an easier time here. Try and slow this one down to a crawl, but still probably going to go Fisher's way. It's There's going to be the soldier ult used from a love to find anything with that. Doesn't look like so. Looks like Saints will use that Kitsune Rush to make a better space. Noxious will pick up Av. That should guarantee the fight now for the side of the Saints. Fisher just going to stagger out a little bit here. Crime finding a couple on the back line. Going to find a third onto Avani. A great fight there from St. Clair. Yeah, that is looking like a good stop by St. Clair. They have so all their alts on the board as well. This next team fight is looking to be very explosive as there's a lot of alts on both sides. I'm wondering what Fisher's going to do to try and break through this choke. It's always tough to do and it looks like they're just trying to keep these annoying <laughs> heroes off of them. Noxious already on their back line, just peppering them with a little bit of damage here and there. So it's, Everybody up topped up on the back line. Looks like they're going for the approach from the back line here. He's going away from Halo. They just need to push through this choke. Tread is just holding down the positioning here. Let's see when the Kitsune Rush comes out from Abs. It's not going to be used just yet. As Saint's going to have to give up that corner now. The Kitsune Rush is used. The, the Sojourn comes down. Noxious going to find the opening pick onto Sloth. Here comes the Orisa ultimate. We'll be able to pick up Crime. I'm only going to find a couple actually. The beat drop from Unred is huge. The counter beat from Soaks is big as well. As Avani does fall, can the Saints hold on here? They pick up Love as well. Lucio should drop in just a few seconds. And yes, it's going to be a team fight win for the Saints. Nice one for them. So many ults used by both teams. But Saints coming out on top. Looking to fold hold here. There's someone on the payload though. Looking for the C9. Won't be able to find it. Saints going to keep that tracer away as they find the hole. Yeah, they're holding it just barely. They're right in front of that first checkpoint, or the second checkpoint for Fisher. Fisher can just get control even for a second. Got that point. 
Saints have the high ground right now. They're at a pretty good spot. They're gonna hold off Fisher for as long as they can. Avani leading the charge in here. Getting a spirit just quite missing it. And right now he's just waiting for his team to rally behind him. Pushing in on through. It's gonna be a massive team fight over this payload right now. Avani going in, missing spirit once again. Going in, there's the Kiriko ult on the side of St. Clair. And Fisher is most likely gonna be pushed off because of it. The damage on Tread is nothing to be ignored here. Tread getting very, very low, doing good damage on both sides here. Can Avani push through this choke with their team? We're seeing Tread get taken very, very low. Huge Suzu. There's Love committing the overclock. Avani getting Tread finally. And that is about to be the point taken over. It's going to be a Crime trying to hold this one all by his lonesome here. But they all fall down. And Fisher gets a team kill. Great play there coming out from Fisher. They're able to win that fight. And they're going to have that Kitsune rush yet again on a lock. So let's see if maybe they can stagger a kill here. That Tracer, very, very dangerous position. We'll be able to stay alive. There's maybe a bit of an overcommit here from Fisher. They're going to use the Kitsune rush in the spawn of the Saints. And they're going to find Tread. Post bomb comes out though, takes down Avani. Slots is going to be sitting on the payload. Crime falls again as well. So it's a good push from a Fisher. They get a lot of free card push here, but they use a couple of ultimates to do so. They have some ults to play with here. But Soaks just has that sound barrier to cancel most of them out. I guess Fisher has a sound barrier as well. So whatever the fights are ahead, if anything big happens, I'm sure we're gonna see one of the sound barriers come out. Now we'll see Crime go in on the back line, try and take this tank down, but the support, the sustain from Fisher is just too good. Brett to Shred trying to find this Tracer on the back line, unable to do it. Once again, we're having an Orisa brawl. There's a sticky on Tread, but he manages to li outlive it. There's a sound barrier from the side of Fisher and St. Clair. Everybody's up and healthy, but Love is taking them all down nonetheless. The Katsune rush comes up for the Saints, and now it's looking like Fisher is about to cap this point. Tread is down as well. And Love has this overclock still in his back pocket. This could be a major point for the Saints if it could just touch Stall out, but they're just unable to. And Fisher is going to take this point three to nothing so far. A great push there from Fisher. Saints won a couple team fights here and there, but Fisher feels like they're pulling a, putting a lot of pressure on Tread here. They're putting so much damage into him, and they, they know if they kill that Arisa first, that's going to be a big win con for them. So. A very, very good push from the side of Fisher, but Saints still not out of this map. Only a minute 44 on the clock, so uh, not not the worst, not the best. Still, this map is very, very uh, possible to capture with with a lot of time. It's very snowball-y, so a couple good fights here and there, and Saints could be looking on their way to even have a bigger time bank. Yeah, now the Saints just have to cap this one all the way and try and win on time, but it's always so difficult. Now, this is looking to be the same comps on both sides. Everyone really getting comfortable with the Orisa, it seems. This is going to be the best tank right now for these team comps, which we're seeing so much. Fisher tried to do something a little bit strange at the beginning, but they quickly switched that one up. Yeah, I mean, Fisher has thrown in some wonky comps here and there, but against a team like the Saints, you kind of have to play what's best, and they've realized that switching over to these Orisa, uh, Sojourn Tracer, Lucio, Kirko comp, which is just so, so strong right now. Every single character in there makes up that team comp. And it looks like Nox is going to be on Widowmaker for just a second here. Can he find the opening shot? Nope, won't be able to find that one. The complete mirror again as Saints look to push forward on the attack. Saints make the push forward right now. Tread all down pretty, pretty low. Take anybody down for good. Prime here on the back line, already making good progress on the Saints side. Now, Love being taken down very low as well. Fisher a little worse for wear. Sarisa though, just so hard to take down. They find Sloth on the back line, now down to DPS. Fisher's going to be very, very vulnerable here. Pushing him very, very aggressively. Silk's finding one. They're all falling down. It's all just this Lucio and Love, all that's left. They take the Lucio down. It's all down to Love, and I think Love is going to be the one that gets away. 
maybe gets away. He gets a cleanse here. Saints not gonna overcommit onto that one, but a great first fight for the side of Saint Clair. They're gonna be one fight away from capturing this one. Love gonna fall down to Redix over peeking there. Another big pick will force Fisher back so so much as they just lose so much damage without that soldier. And Love has been there. Big playmaker finding these kills left and right. Will be forced to back up Sloth yet again. Gonna fall down early as well. Fisher just so so staggered right now. It's gonna be a free cap for the Saints as they realistically only needed one fight for that one. For sure, the Saints just need to keep winning these fights. Their momentum is insane right now. Just totally unstoppable by Fisher. Now, if we look at the alt economy, Saints would have almost every single alt they need on their team. Soundberry, Kitsune Rush, Terra Surge, things are looking good. Avani, though, about to have ult of their own. One Terra Surge will push them off the point. But speaking of Terra Surge, we see one be committed by Tread. It's not going to find all too much, though, but it's going to find a spear on Unred. And look at that, all blue in the kill feed as the Saints get a team kill. Saints using a lot of ultimates to win that one, four to be exact. And now Fisher are going to come back with three ultimates of their own. Maybe a bit of an overcommit from the Saints, but they needed to win that team fight nonetheless. You can see a bit of mid-maxing, picking that so, uh, Symmetra just to TP a couple members back as it looks like Fisher are in a very good position to get at least a couple more fights here. They have these ultimates until they decide to use them. We get the beat drop coming through. Their overclock should be coming through in just a second as well. Avani can use that as well. All ultimates here drop down from Fisher, but nobody from Saints dropping just hit. Actually, Sloth going to be first one to go down, but a nice shot there from Love. Going to find a couple beautiful shots there on the soldier with the rail gun. Now, Saints have to be careful. Tread does find a trade, but does go down for his uh, troubles. Noxious is going to be forced to recall out here. Will be going down just a second. A nice team win from Sink, uh, from Fisher, but still, the Saints have three minutes to push this one in. Yeah, the Saints not all too. They doing pretty well on time, but still, this is a tough choke to push. They want as much time as you can get here. They just want to keep on keeping on. They don't want to slow down this momentum. Sloth taking that very low. The Saints are looking to keep that momentum going. Now we see Tread move in, taking a lot of ground here, unable to stop this Tread train from coming. Avani is going to take the duel here. Sloth can take down no Noxious. Now down to DPS, but think of the Saints. They're going to play very cautiously and wait for the Tracer to come back. Yeah, they have to back up all the way here, make sure they do not stagger any more than they need to. Sloth finding a nice 1v1 against Noxious. Nice little ultimate though from Tread. Finds a couple picks, beautiful ultimate. Finding the over aggressors, and that should give the point to over to Saints. They decide to use the Katsuni Rush up 3. I'm not sure about that decision from Redix. That fight was basically unlosable from that point, but it looks like Saints gonna opt to overcommit there. Take the second point as they have 4 minutes to cap out the map here. Could definitely have the better time advantage of the player well. I think that's what the Saints are playing for right now. They're using every ult as soon as they get it just to keep the momentum in their favor. And it's working so far, but I have a feeling at this next point they might be up a creek without a paddle. You need these ults to try and close out this last point here. It's the toughest one to cap. Yeah, without a doubt, it's the toughest one to cap. Is now Sloth gonna swap off the Tracer onto that Cassidy. Very, very interesting pickup. Gonna be a bit more straight up damage into that Orisa, but won't have the flanking capabilities that he once had. Prime gonna find a nice headshot there onto Avani, who will be healed up to full HP. Saints have a couple ultimates. Nox is gonna find the opening pick onto Sloth. A great pickup from them. Let's see what ultimates are used here. Beat drop coming out from Fisher. Can they find any kills off at Love? Beautiful headshot onto the soldier who was ulting as well. Beat drop comes out from the Saints. Avani should drop here. Let's see if there's any counterplay here for Fisher College. Uh, Kirko gonna get taken out pretty low. Redis has to be careful. Does find the TP out. Can he anyone find the kill on him though noxious doesn't have the anything with tread though gonna find a double kill with that terror surge sloth gonna go down as well as saints look to close out the map saints looking to close this one out just a little bit further but it's so close to the spawn there's gonna be constant fights until the very very end here tread try to single out this arisa and they almost do it but on red taking down crime not just gonna take one down as well this trades left and right there's the overclock but he gets the spear and takes down the soldier shutting it down and now the saints Making very, very good progress here. Slop just trying to take everybody down. Soaks getting the final kill. And now, 
It's gonna be this Tracer trying to contest to the very, very end along with the Kiriko. They switch to the Doom just so they can get here in time. Also the Sombra, this is crazy. We're gonna get double switch to Sombra on both sides at the very end. They just need the extra mobility. It's working out great for them. They're stalling it out just long enough so they can file in one by one, taking turns, holding this one down. But just now the Saints are gonna lose on time in just two more seconds. It's gonna go the way of Fisher on time at least. The Saints need to take this one and soon. Doesn't look like they'll be able to get it. A nice little recontest stagger they're coming up from Fisher. I don't know how they were, it, they were able to pull that one off, but we're gonna see the swaps coming back out. Love though, still gonna stay on that Sombra. No, gonna go back to the Sojourn. As, as you said, Saints don't have the time advantage. Only two ultimates online here. Tread, that Terra Surge Sloth has that Pulse Bomb. Unread though, and Abs so much closer to those support ultimates. Could spell disaster here for the Saints. Let's see what comes out here. Red X forced out super early. Sloth playing with aggressively. The beat drop comes out. Soaks falls down. Let's see if the follow-up damage comes through here. Yes, it will. Nice kills coming out for the Fisher. Tread finds a kill to love. Investing that Terra Surge, but... That's not going to be enough. Uh, Avani going to find the final kill there onto Tread. We're down to about last fight territory, and it's going to be a lot of ultimates dumped into this one. It's going to be all the ultimates dumped into this one on the side of Fisher, at least. If the Saints don't have too much to try and take this one. They have Sound Barrier to try and deal with the Kitsune Rush and this ball spawn. Still an insurmountable task presented to the Saints. If anyone is going to be the one to do it, it's going to be them. They're going to push on through regardless. Again, all against the odds. There's a Kitsune rush. They're moving in. There's the Samber as well. Soaks finds one. They're going to go find another. Got to take out this enemy, Orisa, and quick. They're doing so much damage on the site here. Noxious trying to take out the back line. Unable to do it, though. But they do take out Avani. And now with the tank down, they just might be able to cap this one. And now we're in overtime. It's all or nothing for the Saints, oh do or die. God. Big pulse bomb, but three of them go down on the side of Fisher as the Saints move on through and cap the point, bringing this to an overtime. Yeah, Saints still have a chance in this map. They're going to be down a good amount of time, but all you really need is one second. As long as you can push it through an overtime, that's all you really want. And from the look of things, pretty attack favored both attacking sides. Getting through that defense and full capping. Let's see what the Saints decide to do on the attack here. Will they stay with the same comp or maybe will they switch something up? And that goes both ways. Maybe Fisher throws in a curveball here on the defensive side. All they really need is one team fight win. And if they're able to get that one, they should be able to find the stop. Yeah, the Saints really don't have too much time here to make an attack. They have one minute to bring it as far as they can. If they can start capping these checkpoints as fast as they previously did, I think they're going to have a good time. But still, it's going to be a tall order. Yeah, and you can look at the side of Fisher. They have a Hanzo. So there's maybe the curveball. Going to be looking for those one-shots. It's going to be hard to find the one-shots, but if he's able to do it... Yeah, if he does it, it'll work out great, but now... I don't know if it's going to be the best pick after the changes. Hanzo really isn't as strong. Noxious switching to Hanzo as well. I don't know. We'll see if this Hanzo really is the play. It is long enough range that you can get some good util usage out of him. Already they get the stun on the Orisa. Noxious can bring them arrows from afar. They're playing Baptiste, which is very, very interesting here from Abs as Noxious finds the opening pick onto Sloth. That is a huge, huge pickup. So much damage lost now. Baptiste going to get taken down to 1 HP. This soldier playing way too aggressive. Crime going to go for the 1v1. Won't find the Railgun shot, but there goes Noxious. Will take down Love. A great start for the Saints here. Tread does fall, but with no damage left for the side of Fisher. This should be pretty easy cleanup for the Saints, but as I say that, Avani going to take down Noxious as well. Looks like Saints forced to back off. 15 seconds and counting. They'll have one final push to make something of this round. Yeah, one final push, 10 seconds left for the Saints. Really didn't get it too far at all, but there's always overtime. There's always just a little bit more to dig deep and try and turn this one around. That's why we love Overwatch here. There it is, Avani on the point right now with the 
ultimate. It's gonna be very, very scary. They need to get rid of this Terra Surger as fast as they can. There's the back window as well. Looks like Crime's going up top, trying to take them all down. A lot of shields coming out from everybody. There's the Kitsune rush on the side of the Saints. This is what they need to push on through. The sound barrier comes through. This is it. This is the last push from the Saints. They need to take this one to a checkpoint or it's all gonna go down here. There's Noxious on Echo taking down two, changing the tide of battle in their favor. Now taking out the Symmetra. All that's left is this Tracer contesting the point, able to take down Crime. It's not gonna be all too much though, as he eventually falls. Good push from Saints. It's a great start. Fisher used every single ultimate they had to win that fight. Saints were able to maintain a couple ultimates of their own, so Tread and Crime. Noxious should be able to pick up that copy as well. Should be a very favorable fight here for the Saints as Fisher only gonna have that symmetrical coming up mid fight. Yeah, this is an intense fight. We have a Terra Surge on the side of Tread. This is crazy. It could go either way, and it could go the Saints' way as they take one down, but their support is down as well. Tread getting double on the back line. There's a big shield from the Symmetra. It's going to block out half that Terra Surge. You're not just going to find one as well. And now the clock is ticking. They just need this point as soon as they can get it. Noxious finding one as well. It's just trades left and right. Go down a tank. Fisher not going to be able to do all too much. If Pulse Bomb goes through, no sticky. And now this Trace are going to have to go out as well, gonna retreat back to his team, but the tank is back. They're right before this checkpoint. This is looking to be the last team fight. This might be the last fight. Tread does get hacked out, but not enough damage from Fisher here. They have the Somber and Tracer looking to find some picks onto the backline. Soaks though, gonna get that beat drop. Instantly uses Red X, gets it at the very last tick, stays alive. Avani gonna drop down. It's gonna be another fight win here for the Saints. Fisher just can't seem to stop them on the defensive side. They're gonna have a couple ultimates coming up here, but Saints. Doing a great job of pushing their aggression. They have to be careful to not get off the cart. They've been in overtime for so long now that if they're off for just half a second, that overtime timer is going to take down to zero very, very quickly. So let's see what this next fight is going to bring to us. We're going to have both Kirko ultimates coming online. Avani a bit closer to that Orisa ult, which could be the game changer. Yeah, it's all on the line right now. We see a pulse bomb. We see the Kitsune Rush. Fisher has stuff in their pockets. If they just play it right, they can do it. But, you know, when the clock is ticking, when the pressure is mounting, the Saints just know how to clutch in. And that is what's happening right now. There's the double Kitsune Rush. Can they take this one out? There's a sound barrier from Fisher. Just going to be that much thicker. But still, the Saints are chipping them down. On red, going to get two, though, on the back line. It's going to be a disaster for the Saints. And this might just be it. They need someone on this cart. And it's going to be Tread holding it down with the Terra Surge able to get one, trying to get another. They're not going to be able to get back in time, though, but they just might be able to stay up. No, there's just one. It's just Noxious, and that is going to be it. He goes down. Saints making amazing progress, but Fisher has so much more time left to answer. St. Clair so close to winning that one. Soaks trying to do some miracle work on the Lucio there. They almost are able to get that one, but won't be able to do so. Now they're going to need to defend here. 2 minutes 44 to stop enemy team from capping one and a half points. We saw them do a pretty good job in the first round on the initial defense, but this time I don't think they're going to go for that Ramatra close hold. I think they're going to opt to go for the Orisa instantly off the respawn as it's do or die here. Winner of this map does take the series and go uh, goes to 7-0, and zero, so a lot of riding here. and we're, we're about two and a half minutes away from figuring out who's going to be perfect. Yeah, just two and a half minutes, potentially. They could go, yeah, just two and a half minutes, and it's looking like we'll know the victor of the Swiss. Who will remain flawless, and who will take their it first loss like here in the Swiss the rounds? Was I'm just wondering who it's going to be. Saints sticking with the same comp. Fisher sticking with the same comp as well. It seems to be the best one on Shambhala, but I don't know how this one will ultimately end up. Fisher does have a major advantage on time. The Saints did bring it quite a ways away. If the defense is strong enough, Saints might be able to take it here. I mean, Saints in overtime managed to push it from basically the beginning of the map until halfway through the second point. So, I mean, if they can win a couple fights here on defense, at that timer will go down to zero quickly. See how they decide to play the first fight. Gonna look to hold uh, this high ground. Now they're gonna drop down. Tread just gonna hold space here. Play around the walls, make sure they don't take too much damage. The Saints doing a good job so far of holding a couple members left side from the side of Fisher there. Can't really do anything in the fight going on here in the top right. And Lucio gonna be way too aggressive. Does get taken down. 
Saints not gonna look to run down their enemies. This Orisa going way too deep, gonna fall down as well. It's a great, great start for the defense as they already get 40 seconds off the clock. Already, time is taking 40 seconds off the clock and winning that every team fight. Just one or two more team fights left. If the Saints can win that, they might be able to stop it even before this first checkpoint. The Tracy is dueling with each other right now, trying to take one or the other out, but nothing's gonna happen. It's a complete stalemate, and it looks like Fisher is gonna go up the right side here. Yeah, Fisher spending a lot of time here. He's just trying to take position, but someone needs to move that payload. Tracer's gonna be behind. Saints, nobody's gonna be able to force her out just yet. Tread gonna be forced to give up that position. You can see Saints realize they've lost their advantage. They're on the high ground. Let's play around this corner. Noxious gets taken down by Avani. That's a great, great pickup for Sad Fisher. Now they're gonna look to push in. Almost a pick there coming out back from Crime. Reddick's gonna fall down as well. So does Tread. It's gonna be a fight win for Fisher, but Saints could maybe get one more fight before it's a capture. Yeah, just so. Close here to this checkpoint, and then after that checkpoint, not all too much fur further for Fisher. Push this one all the way to where the Saints brought it. Now, there's, there's a Kitsune rush. Red trying to take down this Kiriko, unable to do it. The, the sound barrier comes through. Not going to do all too much though, as some of them are falling down on the side of Fisher there. Tread going to take it as well. There's the Terror Surge as well on Tread. The Saints doing an amazing job at holding it out, and it's right before this checkpoint. A great, great defense here from the Saints. 20 seconds left for Fisher to make their final push. Saints only having that Terror Surge might have overcommitted one too many ults to win that last fight. Now Fisher's going to have the big advantage. If they can just win with just beat drop or just the, the Sojourn ult, they're going to be looking at a very, very winnable scenario here. Avani going to use that Orisa ultimate instantly, and the beat gets used as well alongside the Sojourn ultimate. A lot of ultimates committed here by Fisher College. Soaks on 1 HP does get taken down. Uh, Tread gonna use his ultimate as well, but maybe a little bit too late as a couple have dropped. Saints definitely gonna be losing uh, this fight here without their key members here. Redix is gonna try and build up as much as he can to that Kitsune rush to maybe have it for the next fight. Saints still have a lot of room to work with. Everyone should be able to get back in time, but so, so close here. Redix 60% to that Kitsune, abs 55. I think whichever Kiriko can get that ultimate first in this last fight is gonna be the deciding factor. Uh, absolutely building that ult church very very quickly as he's still on the front line saints playing very far back they have the pulse bomb at the ready this is going to be a very decisive finish here just one more team fight remains and this is it this is everything these teams have worked up to this is going to decide who takes this first first loss here and now there's a pulse bomb on the side of Fisher doesn't find all too much now the Saints have an advantage here they have a pulse bomb of their own now Tread's going in here he's going to take them all down he's keeping them at bay right now they need to stay on this car there's the Kitsune rush from St. Clair it's the first one there's a sticky as well from Noxious able to get a pick with crime here it's going to go crazy they get one they get two looking for the third there's barely any left and they all fall down on red last one remaining he's off the cart as well touching the tracer's still there but it's not going to be a Enough. A team kill from St. Clair, a hard fought victory, but they take this one back from the brink and win this 2 1. Great, great job there from the Saints. You can see Reddix got that ultimate first, used it, and gave the Saints so much momentum in that last fight as they take the map. Love getting another play of the game. I think every single game he's gotten it. A great performance from both sides, but Saints in the end were able to come out on top, and now they're going to be 7 0. They're going to be facing off against an opponent that's also 7-0. I think there's only three teams like that left left in the tournament. So that's going to be coming up sometime soon. I think it's going to be a tiny, tiny break between the games. But after a match like that, I think a bit of a break is needed. Oh, it's definitely a well-deserved break. That was an amazing match to watch. You know, Saints, it was close every single game on both sides. Props to both teams, but the Saints just had it in them today to bring it that much more further. And you can just tell the commitment from, from the Saints. I need to applaud that overtime carry of the payload all the way to the end. That was just a joy to see. But there's going to be even more joyful things to see on the way. So we're going to throw it to a quick break, and we'll be back with either Valorant or Overwatch. We'll see you soon.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back. After the long-awaited break, we're just about to head in to our Valorant match. And just to run through, this is going to be St. Clair versus Concordia St. Paul. So we'll run through the rundown. This is going to be on Bind here. St. Clair starting attack. It's going to be Instinct, Smiley, Caillou, Seth, and Giza on the right side for St. Clair. And it's going to be Jake, Etan, Chetty Val, Chifu, and Ostino on the left, and two very similar team comps, except for this Gecko being put in. Actually, a little bit different team comps on both sides. Actually, just the Gecko and the instead breach. of the Breach. Yes, yeah. different initiators being run through. A little bit of a different setup. Let's try to compare. And then to cover the other maps we're going to be having, we're going to go. If we're going to a map two, this is going to be on Sunset Attack, and if we go to a map three, this is going to be Ascent Defense. These are all for the sides of the Saints. But so far, I would say the Saints are looking very good. Just based on records alone, I have a feeling Saints are going to take this 2-0. They've been on an absolute hot streak. Yeah, Saints, the one seed, playing against the eight seed. Heavily favored against Concordia here, but still don't want to overlook your opponents. And as you said, they're going to be on the attack first. Looks like they're setting up for a bit of a B hit, pushing B long. But having that echo just gives you kind of that ability to plant from scenarios where you wouldn't normally be able to plant from so it's gonna be interesting to see what the saints can get done here we're underway in round one it looks like concordia going walk up here pretty aggressively can they find any picks early no the saints also gonna play pretty slowly known to be pretty pretty uh weak sometimes on these pistol rounds the saints are gonna try and get off to a hot start here as it looks like it's gonna be an a push coming out from the saints concordia though have three members stacked up bathroom Exactly. Now Smiley and looks like this Gecko are moving in here. Caillou moving in here. Taking it very slow, but they're moving as a group, and that's what you want to do on pistol. Sure, you might not have the best guns around, but if you have the numbers, you're sure to win most of these fights. And the smokes are going to come out. The plant's going to come out from Caillou as well. Actually going to fake that one. It looks like Saint going to quickly rotate over to B. They're going to have a 5-on-2 advantage here. The flash comes out as well. Viper has to be careful not to get caught by anything. We'll stay alive for a little bit here. Should have a good angle onto that Gecko bot to stop the one from getting the plant down. But it looks like the plant is coming through in just a second. It won't be able to come through in the end, though, as Saints need to pull in quickly and Caillou gonna find a double kill. Smiley picks up a third. Cherry does trade one back, but Sep is there to find the fourth, and there is the round for the Saints. Very quick attack, very swift. They take down all five members to get the plan down for some extra money, and they start off the game hot. Yeah, beautiful round from the Saints, and already they're picking up these rifles because they have so much leftover money from these kills. And one thing we do need to comment on and do need to point out is that the Saints are very good on these pistol rounds now. They were struggling with it earlier on in this match. There was almost a bit of a meme. They did amazing everywhere else, but they'd consistently lose these pistol rounds time and time again. But now, it looks like they're in their flow, and they're looking to take this one with a lot of momentum as they're eyeing a split push between B and A. Yeah, they like to play the default after winning the first round. Just let the opponent make the mistakes. Concordia 5 stacking on the B site, praying that Saints overstep, but Saints aren't going to be making that mistake anytime soon. And they have the A site completely open. If they want to push this one, they're going to realize that there's no real contest here coming out from Concordia, but it looks like Saints playing this one extra cautiously. They want to make sure no mistakes are going to happen. And finally, it looks like they're going to make their way over to A. Gecko has that spike. It's going to be able to get the plant down hopefully in just a second. As you can see, Viper, Seth getting so far up. Only has that ghost, but you're going to see Saints going to use all their utility to get this plant down. They have the Brim Smokes Concordia. Still five stacked on B. This should be a pretty easy hold for the Saints. This should be a pretty good half for St. Clair. Of course, they're being cautious. You always have that mind, that little bug in the back of your mind going, maybe he's around the corner. Maybe I just didn't check it well enough. So they're still on edge. They have the rifle advantage, though. This should be very, very good for the Saints. But now, 
All five of Concordia are going in on this site. They might be able to get a few as long as they aim their shots together. But with Giza on this marshal, they're all one shot. I think they went for a full save. I don't think there's a shield in sight. Things are looking very risky, and Seth goes down. But all he had was a pistol to his name. Yeah, Seth going down isn't the end of the world. There didn't have a vandal or anything. You could see the Saints members with good weapons all playing it safe as Concordia won't even go for an attack here. They're all going to die to the spike. You don't want to stay alive and uh, stay with that pistol so another clean round from the saints they're gonna take a 2-0 lead now we're gonna see the full buys coming through seth decide to save up let's see if he goes for a bit of a uh, maybe bigger firepower weapon but no he's gonna go for the vandal uh four va uh, three vandals for the side of the saints a, a bulldog and a Sh uh, sheriff and on the other side four vandals and a phantom for south of concordia now the game's really begun we're gonna see the big weapons the one shots coming out let's see how the saints choose to attack this one yeah the big weapons are coming out right now caillou is moving in leading the charge the initiator of course is going to initiate a lot of these fights Oscino here peeking out and get flashed out double as he gets hit with the gecko flash as well it's gonna be scoped out now this Molly's gonna be very big, do a lot of damage. He's gonna clear out the back site there. The Saints committing a lot of util to open the site up. They're just feeling that confident here. Down. The plant is down from the gecko, and there it is, 40 seconds for Concordia to find something. There is a Viper up in hookah for them on, a bit of a flank there, but all Saints members are pushed in under here. Let's see if the defuse can come through anytime soon. The plant is in a very good spot for the Saints. The taps come through from Chifu. Chet, he's gonna find the opening pick. Half of the plant's already stuck. Is it gonna find the rest of it? Inkson gonna find a couple shots here. Looking for a third. Giza gonna find a trade onto that. Saints have a 3v2 situation here. 3v1 now. Caillou takes down Ostino. Now it's a 1v3 for Jake. Half of the bomb is already typed. Tapped. He's gonna tap it again. The Saints, all three members gonna swing. They're gonna take the round. They're gonna take a 3 advantage as they look to push their lead. Yeah, they're looking to push this one into a very firm lead as Concordia bought some weapons that round. Now they're just going to have to play with the scraps for just a little bit longer. As for the rest of the Saints, I think it's all but Seth is looking very good on money. He's just rocking with his shorty and should be fine enough for him as long as his team can get him a quick buy. And I think they do. Making sure he's still up there in the big leagues. And this next map, this next point... It's looking to be very interesting. The Saints definitely looking to continue this yes. lead. Saints going to look to run away with this one now. Stack up these rounds on attack and keep the the round stacking on and on as Concordia haven't really been able to slow them down. I think this Gecko pick from the Saints has been really good so far. It's been able to get the plant down with relative ease for them. So that's something that they've uh, definitely stra strategized around and they're going to look to play around. So let's see what they do on the attack here. They're going to be pushing up here. There's a the raid. going to get taken down. Nice shots from Sev. Going to take down a couple. Now Saints going to full commit. Looks like onto that B side. It is a 4v1 over there. I don't know if Concordia or do you have any way of stopping them? It's a 2v5 situation now. Caillou gonna get the plant down, and it's looking like Concordia yet again stuck in this retake position. That's gonna be really hard to make. Gonna be really hard to take. Instinct goes down the hoe, and now, or Instinct takes one down. E10, last one standing on the side of Concordia. All he has is a sheriff to his name. He's not gonna try and contest this one. He wants to save as much as he can, try and get a pick, and make it at least expensive for the Saints. He's prepping to peek. There's the blast pack. Doesn't get the flick, but Instinct. Instinct it does. Uh, it's gonna be another flawless round from St. Clair College. Saints playing falsely so far. It doesn't look like Concordia have any answer for what is happening to them right now as uh, Instinct and Caillou leading the way, but everyone on the Saints picking up kills left and right, and they've only had four deaths in four rounds, <laughs> four rounds as a team. Absolute dominance, dominant performance so far, but another important round here. The full buys come out from Concordia. If Saints can take this one, they can jump out to a really big lead. For sure, they can take a major lead here if they play the cards right, and they are. And there's the thrash committed from Caillou, already scouting out bathrooms all the way to the end. He knows that's just clear to blitz on through now. Instinct there, trying to get a pinch there, and he gets it with the thrash. Jake can take one out though in the chaos, and now it's a 4v4. Not looking good for the Saints as they haven't really played the downside, but they're still even. Still looking to be very, very good. Ostino looking away at the last second, but Jake had his back. That's a huge pick. Smiley drops the spike as well.
well. It's not looking too good for the Saints. Kyle, you're gonna look to find something with ultimate there. Instinct's gonna pick up a kill. Saints 3v3 scenario, but Alcine is gonna find a pick on to Giza. It's gonna be all up to Instinct now in the 1v2 scenario. It's on one HP. Fires off the ultimate, doesn't find anything as it's gonna be a round one for Concordia. Crucial round that that is now Saints. Need to fire back with a round of their own. And crucial is just even underselling it because the Saints put in two ultimates there and ended up losing the match in a dramatic fashion now. So this is definitely a very good round for Concordia if they can be able to clutch this one up. But now it's a game day, everybody. You can go type exclamation streams in the chat and go to either game you want to dial on into. And of course, we have our Overwatch game also happening here. It's second round in this in Swiss here so the Saints are up game one Illinois West University though having a very competitive half right now trying to stop the Saints but let's zoom in on Overwatch Theo yeah let's take a look at Overwatch Saints we're able to take the first map unfortunately we didn't get that one for you and they got a little bit lucky with the matchup they were there's three teams that were seven and oh and they are the ones who are playing a team that was six and one because you know three teams can't play each other a nice shot there coming up from crime as Saints look to push the advantage here on the attack want to finish off the Swiss round groups perfect eight and zero nice shot there from crime Redix gonna find the kill on to the Kiriko as Saints are doing a great a great job of holding on here it looks like uh, Illinois was able to find the first cap with relative good time but Saints finally able to get back into their own and never mind Saints are on the attack they're gonna be pushing <laughs> this uh, payload in they're gonna look to find the cap only EXO has the ultimate here on the soldier it's gonna be really hard for Illinois to retake this one beat drop from Soaks is gonna be crucial here as they look to go on to the point this diva is gonna be taking so much damage gets the Kirko cleanse but still gonna be a 1 HP as crime has this Lucio right on him Noxious gonna find the D mech but do down goes Tread Noxious is gonna look for the post bomb won't find anything can they take down the VBD but they do Does anyone on the point nice tracking there from Noxious should be able to take down the Lucio in just a second there it is Kirko gonna look to contest next gets the cleanse out can they find the Kirko one more melee should do it the TP comes out Puppy Cat does drop as Saints are killing off the opposition left and right the cap is about to come through can they find the kills yes they do Tread and Souls find the final two as Saints have four minutes to find the last point yeah four minutes remaining and the Saints are just on a roll both these games the Saints are on a roll but especially here in this overwatch they're almost capping this one all the way out and now not looking too great for Illinois as they're already knocking on their doorstep just a little bit further the Saints will have won this game they still have to play the defense, so it's not all too over yet. But with how things are going, Wavy getting a kill with the Pulse Bomb might be huge. Now, Kizaru gonna go in here, try and find something as well, but it's not gonna work out too great. Still, Tread have to back off, wait for his team to come back. Souls gonna die as well, a bit of a stagger there. The Saints have burned one minute off the clock here, not really making too much progress. And Illinois gonna have a couple key ultimates. They're gonna have the Cure Call, they're gonna have the Beat Drop, they're gonna have the Diva Bomb as well. As Redix gonna pop that Katsuni Rush extremely early on. Can Saints find an opening pick with this one? Tread gonna jump back in on the Winston. Diva's taken down very low. There's the Beat Drop coming out. The Katsuni Rush comes out as well from Illinois. Can they find anything here? Doesn't look like a Tread. Beautiful Winston ult will look for the soldier here can he find the juggles the diva bomb comes through as well everyone is able to stay alive except noxious who gets taken down the continue rush gets forced out from illinois who are doing a great job defending this third point saints just can't seem to find a pick the saints are actually having a little bit of trouble making it past this next choke so props to illinois they're doing a very good job the saints also don't have all too much in the way of ultimate sure they uh, do have the sound barrier and they do have this overclock but they don't have that tank ultimate that could just clear this one all the way out they need that graviton to get them for sure picks but still i believe in crime i believe in his overclocks this might be the thing that will send them over the edge here yeah, and the zarya pick is really clever here from tread gonna be able to beam down this uh, diva look how much damage he does to that diva exo though gonna pick up crime with that soldier and ultimate a great Great shot from him. That's gonna stop the push of the Saints immediately. But they don't have to be careful not to overextend here. Tread is very charged up on this Zarya. There it goes, Wavy. Tread gonna be melting down this Diva as well. Can they pick anyone up? 
deck so beautiful shot onto Noxious. That should be all she wrote as it was a, a Katune rush used in the 4v4 from Illinois to make sure they were able to win out that fight. But Tread still staying in this one relatively close to his Graviton surge here on this. Zarya has been able to get so much charge so, so quickly. Let's see if he can get his Graviton Surge going here. Need to look for the Diva. Get her out of mech. Looks like Saints are diving in. There's the beat drop coming out. The Katsuni Rush comes out from Redix as well. Tread now 91% to that to that Zarya bomb. They should be able to get Diva out of mech. Tread picks up Puppy Cat. Diva gets out of mech. Gets taken down as well. Now the Graviton Surge is ready. It's going to be on that Soldier. All you need to do is just get these final picks. Lucio going to go down as well. It's just Wavy on the Tracer. Trying to contest for a little bit. Does not find the recall. Goes down. That should be the round going here to the Saints. And with 57, 58 seconds left they're gonna find the cap yeah they find the cap with 58 seconds remaining and if they could just play like how they were playing in that middle stretch on the defense I believe the Saints will be able to take this map uncontested yeah without a doubt they're looking good and uh, you saw Tread make that swap over to that Zarya. That was a crucial, crucial swap. Just able to beam down uh, that D.Va forces so many cooldowns to keep her alive. That's not what you want to be doing. You want that D.Va to just make you space, not kind of force you to use your utility on her. And the fact that Tread was doing so much damage was definitely a crucial part here. Let's see what Saints decide to rock with on defense. Are we, are we going to see the Winston again? Or are they going to go up for that Zarya straight off the bat? Uh, let's take a look. It looks like they are also thinking about it. They have the rest of their comp locked in. They've been playing the whole day. And looks like Tread thinking about starting this one off on Zarya, but is going to swap over to the Winston as we might get a mirror comp to start this one off. I think you definitely need the Winston here on this first point. On both sides, there's a large gap to close on either side. You want to get there as soon as you can. And the choke points are very narrow as well. So the bubble shield really closes out for your team, allows them to push up, take a lot of ground. So I think Winston definitely is the best choice here, at least on this first point. Further on, I think we might see the switch to the Zarya, but for right now, I like the comps that I'm seeing. I'm wondering if Wavy is going to throw some a curveball our way, though. Yeah, let's see if Wavy... Now I'm going to no. go to that Tracer, <laughs> just a staple. Uh, uh, staple pick right now, Tracer Soldier, and just two very, very strong DPS characters that can both make plays all on their lonesome. Let's see how the Winston Mirror goes from Milno. We haven't seen it from them yet this far. They're gonna try and speed in here. Gonna take a lot of damage doing so, but will all be able to stay alive as they definitely want to take this room and take the high ground away from the Saints. But Saints will happily stay in here and brawl. Tread throwing down that bubble will put out so much damage halfway to that Primal Rage already on that Winston. Low HP there onto Noxious. Has to be careful. Will be forced to use his recall, but will stay alive. Nice little shot from Wavy. Will be forced to recall as well as there's so much action going on. Crime taken down to 1 HP. Will be able to stay alive as Saints. Look like they've withheld the first initial push, but here we go again. Uh, one HP on Crime. Soaks also low HP. Everyone somehow staying alive for both sides. We're about to see some ultimates coming through. There's the Katsuni Rush for Puppy Cat. Does he want to use that one? Exo goes down to one HP. Does get taken down. Tread gonna have that ultimate pop. There's a Katsuni Rush. Both Soldiers traded out here to start it off. Lucio running on the wall into the spawn of the Saints as Noxious falls down. Here's Tread trying to find something back. Can he find that Kiriko? Yes, he will. Nice little play there from Tread. Soaks goes all the way back. Picks up the Lucio it looks like Saints should be able to take this fight but it's a very very long fight at that the down goes the Winston the Tracer gonna fall down as well two uh, two minutes basically burned off the clock and it was just one very extended team fight yeah nice hold by the Saints not even one tick handed over to Illinois Western Westland but they are just playing amazing right now I don't think that Illinois is going to be able to get on this point very easily, but if they do, it's going to be in this next fight as they have three ultimates on the... Wait, no, the Saints have three ultimates on the board. They're about to have three ultimates on the board as well. So this next team fight is looking to be very even, but if Exo does this overclock perfectly, I think it could flip the point. We've seen him go crazy with this overclock. We have, but it's going to be Crime using that overclock first. Can he find any picks with that soldier? Yes, picks a headshot up onto the trade. Or the beat drum comes out from Soaks. Muki gonna answer back. Exo gonna use his ultimate alongside his Winston. A big overcommit here from the side of Illinois, and they're down a couple of members. This is looking very, very tragic for them. The Winston gonna fall alongside the Kiriko. So many ults invested from both sides, but Saints were just able to come out on top as Tread gonna have that Winston ult ready again. 
What an amazing game from the Saints so far. Just one minute remaining, and they still have this Winston Alt to use in their back pocket if things get desperate on the side of Illinois Wesleyan. They don't have very much at all here. They're about to have Kitsune Rush. They might have Pulse Bomb, but nothing that's really going to change the absolute state of the game. Just need to play a little bit cleaner than the Saints. That's their only option right now. Big cleanse from the Suzu. They're going to go back in here, try and get some clearance here, but it's not going to work out too great for them. As the Saints are just very solid right now. Yeah, I mean, Tread is buying so much space, taking down to 1 HP. On 7 HP, gets the Primal Rage off as enemy Winston does fall. It's a good start for the Saints with Katuni Rush used on the point by Puppy Cat, but that's going to be it for that one. Tread, beautiful juggle there onto Exo as there's 30 seconds and taking Saints, picking up all the staggers here. It's going to be one final push left here for Illinois, and they only have the Pulse Bomb coming up into it. This Winston might get staggered. Beautiful cleanse there from Medics. The whole team might have died to that. Pulse Bomb, if not for that one, a great, great play from him. We're going to have this, the sound barrier and the Pulse Bomb coming up for St. Clair. Illinois are going to have that beat drop and Winston coming up mid-fight, but only 10 seconds left. They need to get onto this fight. The pick comes out onto Noxious from EXO. That's a great, great start for the side of Illinois. It looks like Saints should give up maybe a tick or two here. The tread trying to do everything in the back lane here. Reddick's going to go there. Soak's going to drop the beat of Saints. Full over committing here in the back lane. They're able to pick up a couple of picks as Winston uses ultimate. They're going to be looking for this Kiriko. Tread has jumped in two seconds. That Kiriko has no teleport. Soaks on one HP. We'll be able to stay alive as they find a couple of kills here and one more player remaining. It's going to be the Kiriko. That's it. The Saints take a 2-0 and finish Swiss round 8-0. and zero. What an amazing showing from the Saints. Just absolutely flawless here in these Swiss rounds. You do love to see it. And of course, Tread gets the play. That was some of the best Winston gameplay I've seen in a while. The juggles are on point. He's playing catch with himself. I mean, just look at that. I've rarely seen some Winston gameplay like that in quite a while. But nonetheless, that's all we're going to have to show from Overwatch. We'll dial right back into Valorant where... Once again, it looks like the Saints are having an absolute blast here in terms of points. But this round, looking a little bit contentious here. It's 2-3, to three, not unwinnable. With Spike down, it's looking pretty winnable for the Saints. Yeah, Concordia is going to look to save their guns here. Saints going to take the 9-2 lead here as they're just running away with this one. Last round of the half coming up in just a second here. Saints going to just try and survive here. Don't want to lose their weapons, but... They have probably more than enough money to rebuy, even if they do. So it's going to be Concordia saving here, trying to get something in this half, trying to make it a 9-3 half. But Saints going to look to run away with this one and finish this Last map off quickly. Yeah, it's going to be a big round for the Saints. They're continuing to just hold this dominance, and they want this 10-2. 9-3. It's the 9-3 curse, True. of course. You have to count that in if you're a Valorant fan. But nonetheless, it's looking like this is going to be an amazing round for the Saints. Nonetheless, they just have the gun advantage. They have the alt advantage. Viper Pit just a little bit stronger. Of course, Sky Alt and Brim Alt are very strong as well. But you need to be in a winning scenario to use those to their full effect. Yeah, you're definitely going to need to look to get onto the site with the Viper ult if you're the Saints here, because that's all you really have, but a couple important ultimates for Concordia could swing this round their way. Let's see how they decide to use the Sky ultimate. Will they use it for Intel, or will they use it on an engage? Let's see how it goes. Kai, you're going to look for an early pick here on this Viper, who's just jiggle peeking that corner. Seth, going to go for the entry pick here. Finds a nice tag there. Onto one, but Chetty's going to find the pick onto Caillou. That's going to be a crucial one. Can Instinct find one back? Yes, he does. Beautiful shot from him as he's 8 yesing down here. Will pick up Chifu as Saints look to make their way into this B site. They need their Viper to rotate over maybe, but maybe Saints going to double back here and back up. They have that Viper to on A if they want, but it looks like they're going to push in. Instinct's smiley going to find wow. a couple of plays, but a couple of trades back. Instinct from Concordia and I think Smiley is going to look to take the TP here. They have the Viper ult on that A side if they want it. This should be used in just a second from Seth here. Saints look very, very good here in this 2v2 scenario. Yes, yeah, Seth probably going to use a T side there or CT side to try and stop them rotating in from spawn. But Seth still very cautious 
with the use of this Viper. Oh, he doesn't want to commit it too early, but I think he wanted to commit it as early as he can. There it is, running the push from behind. Only one oh. way to push from, but Chetty going to get the kill, and now it is a 1v2 scenario. Of course, he has it up, but wow, it flips over to Concordia. And there you go, Concordia gets it that round. The 3-9 curse, they lock it in. If there's any hope for them to win this map, this was the round, and it's a great, great start for them in their comeback adventures. But it's going to be very, very, it's going to be very much influenced this half by this first round, the pistol round. If Saints can get off hot, win this one, they put themselves down much closer to map point. And if Concordia win this one, they put themselves in a pretty good scenario to make it at least a very close map. Instinct on the first half, 16 and 6, amazing performance on the raise, putting the team on his back, playing that entry frag role perfectly as the rest of his team use their utility to let him uh, just kill everybody. So <laughs> great, great half from the Saints. They need right four more rounds to take the map and take a 1-0 lead in the series. Yeah, four more rounds. It definitely gives Concordia a chance to get themselves back in this, but just looking at how the rounds are stacked right now, unless Concordia really wakes up, really starts winning rounds right now, Absolutely. it's going to look like this is going to go over to St. Clair. But to start things off, they're going to target this B side, and it looks like it's just Saf guarding it as the rest of the Saints sticking together, moving strong as a unit over on that A side, going for a little bit of a loop around. I think they're going to connect with that Viper oh. very soon. Oh. Just barely not seeing each other. He doesn't have his gun out. He has the knife out. And wow, Caillou goes down for free to Chetty once again. And it looks like Concordia off the back of that, just gonna sprint in here. Seth has to be careful here around the corner. We'll find one. Giza finds one as well. And somehow, Saints able to find the stop a little bit. Smiley here to back up his teammate. The plan comes out from Etan, but the DK is gonna take him down very, very low as soon as he comes out of this one. We'll be on one HP. It looks like Saints opting to play the retake here. They have the 4v3 numbers advantage. All of members on Concordia are inside the site here. Look at that flank though coming out. Nice two picks coming out from the side of Concordia. Saints now in the 2v3 scenario. Instinct gonna throw that boom bot they know he's up in hookah and they know where the brimstone is but instinct through the smoke will find a headshot looking to jump through here can he find the sky no won't be able to and he's gonna get pushed from both sides here looking to pick up one does find the flick, flick somehow now it's a 1v1 scenario still a bit of time left to work with here can he find the headshot knows exactly where he is instinct gonna go for the push here needs to find this headshot quickly won't be able to find it Austino gonna find that one as the round goes over to Concordia that was his only choice there though if he didn't push in that time I still even if he got the kill don't think he would have had enough time to defuse. That was down to the wire. But amazing round from Concordia. They played that very, very well. <laughs> and while Saints did get some miracle plays there, it was not enough to secure them the win. It was a nice try from Ming Stink. And that one, as you said, a crazy, crazy flick while stunned. Found a couple shots there, but just not enough. And Concordia, we said it, the first round is going to be so, so crucial. Now they have three Bulldogs, an Outlaw and a Guardian. So Saints have to be careful here. They bought a couple of shares of their own. Maybe they're looking to play retake. Seth will get stunned up early on, but it looks like Concordia are taking a page out of the book, uh, Saints book and playing it very, very slowly after winning the pistol. Yeah, there we go. Very, very slow gameplay from the Saints as Concordia has the major advantage there. But we've seen the Saints win crazier things, so it's not out of the question that they might be able to clutch this one out. But I think they want to make this round as expensive as they can make it for Concordia, even if they're not playing for the win. As you can tell, they're all play playing jumbled up there on that A side. So if they all sink their shots on one guy with these Sheriffs, they're all going to fall down. Yeah, let's see how Saints, they have four members here ready to defend this one. And it's going to be a rush in. Caillou will be able to stay alive. Has to find the shot here while Stun finds one. The trade comes out onto Jake. The flash is beautiful, but Austino will be able to stay alive. And all the shots now coming out from Concordia Saints. We'll find a couple trades back. So making it, as you said, a little bit more expensive than they would like. But now Saints in the 2v3 scenario, it's going to be all on Instinct with this Sheriff. To find these headshots, Seth finds one. Instinct finds a second. Now the Saints randomly have a 2v1 scenario. Player is bathroom with just an outlaw, only a sniper to his name. The defuse is coming through. He finds the shot onto Instinct, but in the smoke is the defuse. Pros don't fake, and but he's gonna get taken down. Seth 
dies. Almost a beautiful clutch there from the Saints, but it's going to be instead a clutch for the Vipers. It's going to be 5-8, all, 5-9 all of a sudden. We got to give props to Chetty Val. They are <laughs> clutching it up in the, this second half, beginning in that 9-3 round. They're just finding these plays that are saving the game for Concordia time after time after time. And they deserve that top filling up on that leaderboard. But looking over at Instinct, he needs to get his head back in the game. Maybe being a little bit too aggressive here. But now, with rifles back in hands, the Saints should have some good rounds ahead of them. Yeah, especially because Concordia don't have full buys. But that's a great trade for them to start that one off. They're going to get a free weapon, which they wouldn't have to start off with. Let's see if Saints can still maintain their advantage. Seth's going to go for an aggressive swing here. Oh, finds one. I don't know if he was able to see him. I don't think he did. We obviously know that he's there, but Seth has a no clue as Concordia look like they want to push B, but seems like they've remade their mind and might look to make their way over to A. Uh, Seth knew for sure that someone was there. He heard the shot, it missed, hit a wall. But now, they go for a rotate over to A and keep these mind games going. But actually, looks like it's a hookah push. I got faked out myself there as they're all funneling in through hookah, hookah. A risky play, but if they can open up this site, it's the quickest way on to be here. Yeah, without a doubt, Outlaw here for Chetty Val, but luckily full shields for everyone on the Saints, so no one-shot potential just yet. And it's going to be a split B push coming out from Huka and Long, but Saints have all their members here. There's a huge flank coming out from Gecko. Let's see how quickly he's able to get around back there and maybe find seconds. some shots to the back of the heads of Concordia as they look to push through here. Saints carefully have to slow down here. Seth finds one, does get traded out. Giza going to find one, trades again. Nice shots coming out. One HP onto that raise by Gecko. Finally on the flank position. Should be able to find something here from this position. Does find one the plant is going to be coming through in just a second but there is Smiley finding the headshot onto Chetty Val. Team Ace from the side of the Saints as they go up 10-5. 10-5. Saints now back in this trying to get some momentum back but they still are not completely in the lead here as Concordia still has money left on the board. If they win this ground I think the rest of this game is looking to go their way. But for now, Concordia is still in this. They've been playing very well on the attack. If they can get a few more rounds in here, we might have a very competitive game on our hands. Yeah, Concordia need to be basically perfect now, and being perfect against the Saints sometimes isn't even enough. So let's see what the push is here. Jake playing it perfectly, gonna find a couple frags early on as Zinxin and Giza get caught out in a bathrooms. Now it's gonna be so hard for the Saints to win here. Caillou though, and Seth on the flank, finding a couple somehow, and they're gonna look for the swing here. Seth trying to find a third, but Chetty is gonna be able to pick that one up. No gun, no bullets left in the gun. Caillou's gonna pick up one onto Chetty Val. It's a 2v2 scenario, but it looks like Concordia have full control of B as there's one in the spawn. Smiley just running without his gun. Gonna get caught out and 2v1 scenario for Concordia just like that. That is the second time the Saints have been running with the knife out and get severely punished for it. Now Caillou has to somehow clutch out this 1v2. He's gonna flash it out, jump in, doesn't check below, no one does. And now Concordia back in this once again, 6 to 10, only four more rounds to try and close this gap. Yeah, Saints just got caught out early. A nice little uh, fly in there from Jake on the race. Found a couple. And even though they found a couple kills back, Concordia on the attack dictate where they want to go. They had the B side open, get the plant down, and take the round. Now Saints going to be on a save round. If they can't win this one, it's going to be a 10 7 game. And then Concordia are right back into this one. Concordia right back into the swing of things if they can win this one. Which. They very well should on paper. The Saints sure have a few ultimates, but they're definitely not going to commit them here. You want to try and commit those ultimates for the rounds you need to win, especially you only need to win three more rounds. Ostino prepping the concussion, trying to make a big push up here. Oh, and nice pick by Seth through the wall. Beautiful shot by Seth onto Jake. Took two headshots, not just one. He's going to get healed up to full HP as well. So now Saints have the numbers advantage, but the TP comes out from Concordia. The Sky Ult as well. They're desperately need to win this round. So they're using their ultimate. Instinct though will put out that ultimate and instantly stop the push. Smiley on the flank picks up one. Beautiful flash. Actually flashes himself. Not a beautiful flash, but should have found a couple at least. Another pick from Smiley and Caillou as now Saints have a 5v1 on the Thrifty. It's going to be all up to Chetty here. Picks up 
one, but Saints now need to calm down. Don't need to over aggress. If Chetty Val clutches this one up, that's gonna be a heartbreak. And the wall goes down. There's a shooting squad from the Saints ready there to take him down. Thrifty round for the Saints as they're two rounds away from taking the map. That's what they need to do. I got a little bit worried there that they're gonna go one by one, single file line, and it would just be a shooting gallery. Shooting gallery for Chetty, but no. Clutch it up, got the team shots in there. And speaking of teams, this is looking very close money-wise, but the Saints still firmly in the lead. Looking at the team's ultimates though, Concordia ever so slightly in the lead with that Brimstone alt. You can just tell, especially yeah. on this map, it's just so strong for clearing out these sites and these jokes. Yeah, without a doubt, it's looking like a hookah push here from Concordia, but Saints pushing in quickly on the other side. Concordia says, thank you very much. We'll take the site for ourselves, get the plant down, and we flipped spawns <laughs> in just a matter of a few seconds. Instinct finds a pick onto Chetty Valor. Saints have the weapon advantage here on the retake. Gonna find a couple here from Giza, but Jake finds a big, big double kill here. Now it's a 3v2 here. Still in favor of the Saints, but they have to go quickly because the time is ticking. Jake going to be taken down 1v3 now for Austin. Only has a Bulldog. Does get taken down. Saints going to put themselves on map point and they will be in a very, very dominant position with the gun advantage. And that was a crucial round for Concordia. If they managed to win that one, the gap not so huge to close, but now it to do double the amount to bring this to an OT. Saints have the money advantage as well. Things are not looking good for Concordia, but things are looking very, very great for St. Clair College. You're looking to close this map out right in this round. They have the Viper all they have the Brimstone alt as well. Things are aligning. Things are looking good. Yeah, things are looking good for the Saints. They have everything they could want. They have a Viper ult to lock down the single side if they want to do that as well, but I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to play a little bit more aggressively here on this defense side, but it looks like Concordia are the ones to play it aggressively. They're just rushing into a site. Nobody's here. Jake gets taken out to 1 HP. Instinct going to find that opening frag. Austino going to look for a breach ultimate here, maybe to make some space, but a couple members sneakily sneaking into a B site here for the side of Concordia. Saints now know the teleport comes through. You can see how quickly they're going to be rushing over to this B site. The plan should go down alongside the Viper. This round's looking very winnable for Concordia. Yeah, very winnable for Concordia, but they can be answered with another Viper ult of their own on the side of the Saints. They really, really need to commit that. And I think they're just going to try and take these gunfights as they do have the man advantage. There it is. There is the Brimstone ult. Not saving for the post plan. Very interesting play. But they just need to try and slow this down. They're trying to run out the clock here. The Saints know this. They're going to move fast as they can. There's the Viper ult as well. Two Viper ults. Everyone's going to be one shot here in a second. They find one. Seth looking for another. Can't quite find it though. As Phil's ability is very, very low. He's a fun one. And there it is. There's the Brimstone all the last man standing. They're all low though. Can he clean this up? No, he cannot. And with enough time left on the board, St. Clair is going to take up 1-0 in the series. A good map from the Saints Concordia. Definitely give them a bit of a run for their money, winning six rounds. But Saints looking as strong as ever. First seed for a reason. Going to take map one with predominant fashion. And now... We're going to be coming up to their probably most dominant map, the map they always seem to go attack first, win as many rounds as possible, and then just close out the game on defense. Yeah, and that map is going to be Sunset, and they're starting out on attack. And every time we've seen them on stream, they just do amazing on Sunset. But that could just be a thing of maybe the other teams don't practice it quite enough. But going forward, we're going to see if Concordia St. Paul has... The, what it takes to take on the Saints on Sunset Attack. But that is going to be after a quick break. We'll see you all very soon.
Hello everybody and welcome back. We are just about to get into Agent Select for our second game of Seaval Valorant. And this is going to be interesting. First game, St. Clair did very well on the attack, but once it got flipped to defense, we had a bit of a comeback on the side of Concordia St. Paul. So going forward, I think we might see something similar take place once again, but running through the lineup, it's going to be Smiley on the Breach, Caillou on the Fade, Seth on the Omen, Giza on that Cypher, Instinct on the Rays. And on the other side, we have Jake on Rays, Eaton on the Omen, Chetty Val on the Cypher, Chifu on the Fade, and Asino on the Breach. Very the exact same team comp on both yeah. ends. Both teams seem to be on the same page. Let's see how we're going to get... Uh, let's take a quick prediction. You think Saints will win the first pistol round? Yes. Okay. I believe in the Saints pistol round. It has improved so much since the beginning of this semester, the beginning of the season. They've improved so much in pistol. I think they have this one in the bag, but they still have to play this with utmost carefulness. Right they can't get too comfortable against Concordia. I think we saw that yeah. in the latter half of the last match. Got a little bit too confident, did some crazy plays. Sometimes they worked out. But near the end, they stopped working. Concordia woke up and really gave them a run for their money. Yeah, without a doubt, Saints still have to keep the foot on the gas pedal. Can't be letting up now. They did win the first map, but Caillou gonna look to start it off hot for the Saints. Gonna get a couple picks for himself. Smiley gonna walk in. You gotta have your gun out, buddy. Caillou gonna find a third kill for himself of the round. Great start to the round for Caillou Chief. We're gonna get taken down. And Saints are looking like they're gonna take the first pistol round. Should get the plan down in just a second. And a 4v1 post plan scenario should be very hard for Chetty to bring this one back. It's gonna be very difficult for Chetty. We've seen crazy things come through, but when you're playing against the bomb, you're playing against four people, especially on the defense, it's that much harder. Oh. But hey, we've seen crazier things happen. He gets two out of nowhere. He gets two, no, uh, looking to find one more, but Caillou is there to find his fourth kill of the round on the fade. So close to that fade ultimate already. One more ult orb in the plant. Fade ultimate is online, so let's see if Saints maybe look to prioritize that one as they're going to be buying up Vandals. They get the first pistol round, Chetty. Looking to buy a Bucky for a cheese kill, but it looks like Saints <laughs> getting off to a hot start yet again. Yeah, Jetty going for the Bucky, but going back to that fade ult, that is definitely an ult you want to stack up first. Because it's so good, especially on the attack. It it sends up these little tr tendrils across the ground, these little trails. Locates everybody hit with the ult. Also, deprives them of all sounds. They don't know what's coming at them or where it's coming at them from. So very good ult on the attack to start things off. Yeah, without a doubt, it's gonna be a, a hot start again here for the Saints as Chifu will be taking the engage. He actually takes down Seth to one HP. Nobody falling just just yet. They're gonna swap weapons here, Seth and uh, Caillou to make sure that nobody goes down very early on. Instinct gonna be careful here on the breach. Uh, the breach is ready there with the stun if Instinct did go for the swing, so. Not gonna be going for that one. Caillou will spawn one out, and now the stun comes out. Caillou has to be careful. Instinct, though, gonna find the first pick. Picks up a second, covering his team's back beautifully. Chetty will pick up one with that buck. He does go down. Now it's a 1v4 scenario for this Omen on the side. He will go down as well. A couple kills go over to Concordia, but Saints looking very, very strong on the offense as they're gonna take a quick, swift 2 0 lead. Yeah, taking a very good 2 0 lead, and they still have some money to keep up with Concordia here, but. I think the buy is going to be slightly worse on the side of St. Clair. We're seeing a, f we're seeing a stinger and a bold, a few bulldogs come out instead of the full stacked lineup of rifles we're seeing from Concordia. So, be a bit of an uphill battle for the Saints, but this should be a good round nonetheless. I think this could go either way. Concordia needs it to go their way, or else Saints are going to start running away with it. Yeah, without a doubt, this round is important for Concordia and Austino will get picked off early, but Chetty will find the trade onto Instinct Still Saints. Gonna use those numbers advantages. Giza gonna find one, does get traded out. Caillou gonna find the trades there as well. Plant is coming down from Seth. Saints have a 3-2 situation as Concordia yet again need to be playing retake. Retake, it's a 3v2. The worst in the world, they can still bring this back potentially. Now, it's decayed. He's on the back line. 2v2. Seth going down. Kai taking one back. 1v2 for Jake. He might be able to do this. Jake, very strong. Able to get those clutch plays, but Smiley is going to shut him down. 
Yeah, Saints just looking so, so strong here in uh, this map. And it looks like they're going to be running away with this one. No more money for Concordia to lean back on as Saints will have the full Vandal buys. Yeah. They just look so strong on attack, as we said, on this map. And it looks like Concordia has absolutely no answer to start this one off. Uh, looks like Saints have just been finding the first picks, getting the plants oh, down, yeah. and playing the post plants perfectly. Concordia list. definitely need to get things together if they want to. They want to take this map back. Definitely have to get their act together, but still, the Saints are just being so aggressive, being playing so confidently as well. Maybe a little bit too confident at times, but they still make it work. So I can't even blame them. But nonetheless, looks like they're going to approach the site with the Fatal. It's going to be cleared out. Not a single person touched by it. There was just ever so slightly a miss. Is Ostino and the Cypher here over on this right side in this room. And now it's a 5v5. No one's dropped. And this is going to be a hectic post-plant situation. Yeah, without a doubt. 5v5 post-plant. But Saints have the weapons that they need to play this one perfectly. Inkstein has to be careful there. Will be able to get his head out of trouble. Not a lot of time here for... Concordia to work with, but they find the opening pick onto Instinct 5v4 scenario on the retake. Now, Saints though playing the position perfectly. The defuse is coming through. It's halfway done. Can the Saints get on this one? They do get half of the tap, but the shots come out from the Saints. Smiley and Giza and Caillou finding all of the kills. Saints mowing them down. Gonna take a 4 0 lead. 4 0 lead's big, but it's not as big as a 5-0 lead. So the next one is going to be just that much more important for Concordia to win. It's definitely doable. A comeback is possible right now, but it's not looking great. They need to get their foot in the door. These rounds are getting closer and closer, and they have the maxed out loss bonus now. On paper, this should be the round that Concordia flips it over. Yeah, absolutely. This is a big round for Concordia. If they can win this one, maybe they'll have a chance in this map. But if they drop this one, that might be all she wrote. Inkstein going to go for a super early uh, peek there on to Jake. Won't be able to find anything as Giza's going to drop as well, as well. It's looking really good for Concordia to start off as Saints have to play the 3v5. Nice flash there from Ostino. Can he find any more picks? No. Smiley's prepping the flash for a teammate. Let's see if they can do Miracle's work here in a 3v5 scenario. 3v5 scenario winnable, but they're going to have to play their absolute best as the numbers don't lie. Five men are better than three in this scenario, especially if you're playing six. As we see Seth going in on the back line, has a choice to make. There's a camera on him right now. They know where he is. Look at headshot, but dodges it. Manages to get out. Doesn't check behind him, though. And Chetty Val is going to take him down. And now it's all down to Smiley as they know where he is. They're all going to flood in on through. They get double concussed, though. He might be able to get a kill. He finds one. Will he find another? He does. It's down to a 1v2, but he does not get the clutch. Chetty Val shuts it down. And Concordia is back in this. And they do take the round that they so desperately needed. Inkstein definitely playing a bit too aggressive on that raise. And needs to slow it down just a tiny bit and let his team throw in some utility for him to for him to swing off of. So Saints gonna have that 4-1 lead still. Gonna have a couple weapons here, but can't afford a fall by so Concordia winning a crucial round there. Maybe this is their way back into this map. Possibly. They still are not doing an absolute full buy some light shields, a guardian as well. But hey, they're gonna commit the showstopper and get a nice pick on Instinct. Nice shot there from Jake. Takes down Instinct very, very early on, and that's gonna be another opening frag. Instinct falling first yet again. Not much he can do about that one, to be fair. But it looks like Saints might get a bit of control of this A site. But on this map, you can't go from mid to A. You can only go from mid to B. So only one real entrance point into that A site. Have to go up that little spawn to start it off. And it looks like A is pretty open for the Saints for the taking. If they decide to go quickly, could be able to find openings. The Omen flat smokes come through. There comes the Breach ultimate. But Giza gets flashed on this side still. Will be able to stay alive. As nobody from the side of Concordia is anywhere near here to contest. But Chetty will find an opening frag again. 3-5 again for the Saints. Giza looking for the swing. Spike is planted. But they're just waiting for the smoke to drop. As soon as it does, the swings will come through from the Saints. And they do come through. But Concordia is there to find the kills. It's going to be all up to Seth in the 1v5 scenario. Flawless round for Concordia as they're making their way back into this game. 
and this is this could be the start of something awful for the Saints and something great for Concordia University. They are looking to take this one back, especially when these attacking rounds have always proved to be so strong for the Saints. It looks like they're going to have to have a great defense as well. Concordia's Absolutely. Making this so competitive. Absolutely. As you said, uh, they are looking to have a good defense. And against the sense, uh, Saints side that's so good offensively on uh, this map, the fact that they've won a couple of rounds very, very early on is a good is a show of good things to come. This round's going to be also as important as ever. Three ultimates ready for the Saints. Full buys on both sides. Let's see who's going to be able to take this one home. Looks like Saints, yet again, going to make some space up uh, in this mid area. Smile looking for an early pick. Inkstein's going to be able to find uh, that one. There's one more here, and he's going to be able to find Inkstein. Nice pick from Chetty again, as it's a 4v4 scenario this time. Saint's going to look to maybe funnel into this beside the fade. He's going to spot that one out. It's a beautiful one-way smoke, though. Will stop the push uh, for a second, but Giza up. will find the pick on to Chetty. They have full control of this B-side, and they have the 4v3 post plan situation. There it is. The Saints getting the plant down first time in a long time. Now they just have to play the post plant perfectly. Perfectly, as Concordia always seems to manage to make it work. Look at that! Already putting the Saints into a 2v3 scenario out of nowhere. The Saints struggling to get themselves back in oh, this. Flank. Smiley on the flank trying to do something sneaky. Smiley, if he can just go a little bit quicker there. Could have found all three, remember, but still. He's going to be on that flank. Caillou just needs to play for his life here. Needs to not die here. As Smiley has a giga flank. They have no idea he's here. But Caillou's doing God's work. Finds a couple. Smiley on the flank will pick up the last one. Great team play there from the Saints. Even though they drop maybe a couple to mem many members for their liking. They do, they do take the round home. They take a 5-2 advantage. But yet again, it's going to be a full buy from Concordia and Saints. I uh, will be able to afford kind of the same luxury stuff. Running a bit low on the credits can go for a light buy alongside the Vandal, but you definitely want to buy up those smokes as well. So puts him in quite a quite a predicament here. Yeah, they are in a predicament. They're still in this. They're still in the lead, but they're still struggling onwards. Concordia definitely a little bit more of a comfortable scenario, but I'm sure they'd be more comfortable if they had a few more points on the board. So let's see if they can rack that up. Saints pushing mid, playing a lot slower, the slowest we've ever seen them play. Now respecting Concordia's space that much more. Trying to put out the smokes, trying to take it very slowly. Trying to get the jiggle peek on this push over to B site. So I think that is going to be the play. The paranoia comes out, the concussion comes out. Now they're all flooding through. Chetty finds one, Eaton finds another. Eaton finds two, and Lucina finds another. And the Saints fall all together, all within 10 seconds. Concordia St. Paul. It's just having the time of their lives right now. A beautiful round from Concordia and Saints. Gonna have to be forced to save up here. This map is uh, looking a lot closer than we anticipated. Concordia gonna have money for quite a few rounds now as they've won a couple in a row here in Saints. Have to be careful here not to, not to throw away their advantage. Concordia have a very, very good shot of taking this next round, but we've seen Saints pull off the Thrifties before, and it looks like they're going back to their rushing strategy. They're all going straight into this A site, but instantly Smile's going to find one. Caillou finds a trade on to a second. There's the Ray's ultimate. Can he find one around the corner? No, he's stunned up for just a tiny bit too long. Going to get stunned up again. We'll try and fire off that rocket. We'll be close to taking down one more. Going to try and pick up that Vandal. It's going to be risky, though. Can he find the kill? Yes, he does. The trade comes out from Jake with a nade, but it's still worth it for the side of the Saints. Jake is marked up, does get taken down, and yet again on a thrifty round, Saints manage to make it happen. They're up in a 3-1 scenario looking for the post band. Yeah, this is looking good. Chetty, though, has done the impossible time and time again. If he can clutch this one out, Concordia will be officially one point away from the Saints. Chetty taking this very slowly. He has time to burn, but not all too much. Cypher Cam knows where he's at, knew where the bullet came from. They all know where he's from. He has three corners to peek, but Kai is going to be one to seal the deal. The Saints maintain their three-point lead. There's only three more rounds in this half. And the fact that a lot of members from the Saints live that round means they don't have to buy up this round. Thrifty is played beautifully from the Saints. Concordia have another buy here if they lose this one. The credits are going to be running a bit short for a couple members there, so... Concordia des desperately need to win this round, and it's looking like 
a B push is coming out for the Saints here. For sure, they need this B push now more than ever. And they need it to work out, but with two of the best players over on Concordia on that B side, it's going to be a tough point to push. Eaton already prepping the paranoia for Chetty Val to swing in and go crazy. There it is. Doesn't get one, and Caillou gets the pick and gets out. And now the Saints have a lot more freedom on this map. No smokes, no paranoia. Without a doubt, they're gonna look to push into this B side up a member. But now they're gonna actually choose to wrap around back towards A. They're playing it very, very slowly. They have no idea if any of Concordia's members are here on the flank, but that's not gonna be the case. They should take this A site relatively for free as Geza is the only one that stuck around on this B site. He's gonna get so much info just from hearing the members around him as Saints rush onto this A site. Nobody's here from the other side of Concordia. Obviously they do not know that, but they're gonna look to get in quickly, get the plant down, and yet again play the post plant. Yeah, they're gonna play the post plan. There it is. Smiley starting it up. It's a 4v5. But there's a lot of people still on this board. This is gonna be absolutely chaotic. Seth, amazing angle, but Giza's gonna find two. And now the fade trying to find as much as she can, but she can't really do much as Jake goes down and Chifu goes one takes one down as well. But Caillou taking out another. And Chifu gonna be the last one remaining here. Unable to find that pick. Caillou's gonna find three. Win the round for the Saints. And 7-3 right now. Saints doing a great job of bouncing back after a couple of round, rough rounds where Concordia just simply outplayed them in the gunfights in the mid. But now the Saints seem to get the ball rolling in Caillou this time. This map 15-4 and four on Fade. Absolutely amazing performance from Caillou so far. Inksing not having the best map like he did last time, dying every single round, but he's making a lot of space on the raise. That's what you say when you're that entry fragger and uh, struggling to find a couple of kills, but that's okay. Saints are looking uh, very, very good. And yet again, they're going quickly up mid here. Inkstink leading the way for his team already in the spawn of the enemy team alongside Seth. They find one. Seth looked away for just a second. Inkstink might be able to find a kill here. Gonna let you chase down Chifu around this corner. is gonna pick up Jake as there's gonna be the Cypher ultimate coming through. Chifu gonna run around the corner. Takes down as well. Taken down as well. Saints have a 5v2 scenario. Plant is coming through. Should be yet another pretty easy round for the Saints. It's a 5v1 scenario. Yeah, 5v1. Seth gonna take the fight with Chetty Bow. And he gets the pick. Shotgun is not gonna be <laughs> rifle at that range, but nice try, Chetty. Last round. Last round this. here. Will this be an 8 for its split? Concordia always taking the Saints to these decisive halves. Or these decisive ending halves. Concordia, if they can get four Get the four and eight, get the pistol, six and eight, <laughs> assumedly, a lot of rounds, yeah. but that's not a bad gap to close. This is the time you're going to need to close this gap, so this is a crucial, crucial round for Concordia. Absolutely, and they have a four ultimate to none advantage. If they lose this round, that would really be a heartbreaker for Concordia. They need to use their ultimates to their advantage and find something. If they find an opening pick, they need that Cypher ultimate to go down on that, so... Let's see how they decide to play it. Saints, respecting the fact that Concordia's four ultimates aren't just straight up rushing aside like they have for this entire half. And they're gonna look to push into the B site. Concordia have a couple members alongside the Cypher Trap set up here. So Saints definitely try and play, play it a little bit slowly here, but looks like they're just gonna pop all the breach all utility. The ultimate comes through. Inkstein gonna double satchel in there, playing inside of this trap. Such a beautiful positioning from him. There comes out the fade ultimate though. Nice flashes and stuns from Smiley. Has to be careful around that nade, not to go down to that one. Does take a bit of damage, and there's the opening pick for Eaton. He will get taken down, but Jay gonna find a couple with that one. Austin is gonna find one as well. Seth now in the 1v3 scenario. Can he find the Miracle Clutch here? No. It's gonna be the round going over to Concordia as they make it a 4-8 game. Yeah, 4-2-8. Concordia now in the position. If they play this perfectly, it should be a very competitive game. This should be getting very, very close. A little bit too close for the Saints' comfort. But if the Saints can get themselves back in the lead, consistently win this pistol round as they've been doing, I think this might spell the end for Concordia if the Saints' defense is just as strong as their offense. But we haven't really seen them play all too much on Sunset Def Defense. They usually start attack. They usually take it 12 all, like, 
all 12 rounds yeah. in the first <laughs> sunset half. So I'm very worried about how the Saints will be able to contend with this. Yeah, let's see how the Saints go here on the defense. The fade, using that utility early, spot out something. It looks like Concordia trying to take mid as that seems to be their strong point. Concordia winning some key battles here in this mid so far on this map. But it looks like Saints aren't going to bite. They're just going to play the defense defensively but instinct as i say that walking up a little bit too far does dodge the stun however so should be able to make it out with his life as that's a crucial crucial pick that concordia didn't get now they used a lot of utility to pick that one up they won't have too much utility entering into the next site yeah not too much utility at all so, you know, trying to open up this site though they're gonna go loud but kai you're gonna find the pick Gonna look for another, can't quite find it. One is, oh. I think, at 40 HP, just one shot away. But Giza gonna go down along with Caillou. Now it's a 3v4 for the Saints. It's gonna be tough, especially with Spike Town. Time is ticking. They have to move quickly and try and land every single shot, headshot. Yeah, Instinct, that's gonna be a good nade. There's a member in that corner, very low on health. Will that one find him? Doesn't seem to be the case. Seth. Has to find one around the corner. Will he check that one? I'm not too sure. Doesn't look like Inkstein's going to be able to find anything either. We'll look for the swing. But Smiley goes down. Down goes Inkstein. It's going to be all up to Seth. 20 HP. One more bullet will do it. It looks like Concordia will pick up the pistol round. And as you said, one round here, one round there. If they make this one 6-8, it becomes a very, very winnable game for them. I don't want to be the truth teller here for the <laughs> Saints' sake. But I think Concordia has a very good chance to bring this one back. As we've seen... They're very, very good on the attack. And now that the rounds are even closer, I think we're having an even closer game on board here. Don't know what the Saints are going to do. They have very good thrifty rounds, but with the buys that they're buying right now, not really going to turn the tides. Sure, a marshal and a sheriff can do work, but when everyone else is running classics, it's not going to change all too much. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, they they found a couple of thrifties already, the Saints have, uh, in these first two maps. So, nothing's impossible. And Caillou going to back up my statement with an early pick onto Austino with that um, Marshall. And the gun is there. You can see the Saints want to go pick that one up. They're pinging it over and over. And Giza, alongside Instinct, up mid here. Going to be looking for something. There's the fade utility used to make sure that nobody's too close. Jake gonna throw out a nade as well. Does he know that there's one in this close corner? Instinct in such a prime position here. Should be able to find at least a couple. Finds one. Can he find one on to the second here? Shots come out. Won't be able to get it just yet. Goes around the corner there. Maybe a bit too aggressively. But Saints gonna be dropping like flies here now in the 2v2 scenario. Very low HP on the breach. This round went from good to very shaky for the Saints. Yeah, that was an amazing position and opportunity for Instinct, but he didn't get it quite right. And he loses the sniper battle to a Bulldog. And just like that, the last player remaining on the side of the Saints will fall to a mere sneeze. And with no gun in his hand, this is looking dire. Saints start off the round with a pick. Had the numbers at some point, but... Just couldn't win the 1v1s when they mattered most. Still very winnable position for this breach. He can't get through that door, however, which is going to make this round merely impossible now. He's going to break that one down. Has a specter to his name, but probably going to use the sheriff to find the one shot. If I had to guess, not enough HP to really go for any 1v1s. And Smiley has to check to his left here. There's a couple members. That was very doable, but... Chetty will find his third. Concordia, 6-8, bringing this map back. Bringing it back, but now the Saints have money in the bank. They can buy up these rifles, and this is the time they put their foot in the door. They say, no more free entry into this establishment, Concordia. You're not going to plant this bomb any longer on either of these sites without it at least getting defused. The Saints have to bring it back right here, or else Concordia winning this round will surely stretch into the lead and i think this is it this is the most round decide or game deciding round right here either concordia takes it all right here it starts an amazing lead or saint Clair gets themselves back in the lead and shuts down concordia's run yeah saints definitely need this round as you said they can be losing after 
They, they, they also killed a lot of members on the Thrifty, which is a very important thing. They killed three members, so not a lot of weapons for Concordia coming to this one. As you said, Saints, fully geared out is usually when they're at their best. And let's see how this round's gonna go. You can see Saints definitely respecting Concordia now. Not going for these super aggressive peaks, but as I say, that Instinct continuing to play aggressive. We'll find the headshot to start off the round. Good start for the Saints here on this defensive round. Caillou now. In a very, very nice position here, up mid. There's a couple members to the right here. He's gonna spot them out with a utility. Flash comes through, Instinct gonna tank that one up, but looks like Saints decided to play way more passively now that the game's gotten a bit closer. Yeah, definitely closer. Only 30 seconds remaining for Concordia. They're trying to be very, very careful, as careful as they can be. They don't want to take any risks, but now with being too slow, too much caution Big might kills. be a bad idea as now they're making a last minute blitz. They all fall down. It's all down to Jake here. Already getting mollied out. And Seth gets it with a team ace to boot. I think the Saints are back in the swing of things. I think Saints are back in business with that one. Now they have the 9-6 lead. They're going to look to grow their advantage here. Still a full buy from Concordia. If Saints can take this round, that's going to be all... Uh, all she wrote basically for the map. They're gonna, their lead's gonna just grow a bit too large here. But if Concordia can win this one, there's still a fighting chance. So let's see how this run goes. Concordia playing this offense very, very well uh, so far. I have to say, but Saints winning a couple crucial rounds. Just those key gunfights they're able to find. You're gonna see Instinct flying in. Beautiful teamwork there using the utility from his teammate. Instinct does fall right after that fact, but still the opening pick is very, very nice for them to start off. Now the shots are going to come up mid. It looks like Concordia love taking this mid pressure as Saints uh, will willingly are going to be giving that one up. I know that one up and there is the Cypher ultimate revealing all of CSD. That's Concordia St. Paul to the Saints. Now the Saints know this is gonna be a B push from backside. He hears the footsteps. He's a best place carefully gets paranoid. Finds one through the paranoia. Maybe check a PC there as he gets a kill. Trades come out all around. We're back to an even match 2v2. 2v2 post plant fatal used out early. Concordia definitely have the upper hand here, but Smiley finds the kill onto Jake. Now Saints have the 2v1 scenario and they know exactly where this fade is. Can the breach find a nice stun here? Doesn't look like a Chifu will get out with his life as Saints look to find the 1v1. They are able to find the trade almost lined up from there, <laughs> but they're gonna take the 10 6 lead as they're getting so much closer to close it, closing the series out. Yeah, now the Saints just three rounds away from victory. And because they're already in this momentum scenario, it's not looking good. Concordia needs this next win badly. As you can see, they're already starting to force by here, just buying whatever guns they can to try and contend with the Saints. Because these rounds are still getting close every single time. As you can tell, just a little bit more spray control, a little bit different scenario. That spray could have taken out both of the Saints and that would have spelled doom. Yeah, without a doubt. But the fact that it didn't means it, the round went in the Saints' favor, up 10-6, having all the money they could ever want, all the momentum. They're gonna look to push in now on this defensive side. Giza gets up in a very, very good position here, but has that Cypher trip. Gets gonna, gonna get stunned up though as Seth gets an opening frag. Giza still able to stay alive on this side, it's so crucial. Can he find the opening swing? Seth gonna find one. Giza finds a second. Saints have a 5 4 v one All of a sudden, as Seth finds his third of the round, and there's gonna be Instinct on the flank, picking up the last one. Saints taking an 11-6 lead as they're that much closer to taking the map. And I don't know if this Saints train is gonna slow down at this point as because of that force by Cordia continuing to have to buy these slightly yeah. lower tier guns, lower tier shields. And I, in a game where it was so even, these little things add up so much. And now they do have some ultimates on the board as well. Eaton has the Omen ult. Jake has a showstopper. Last time we saw Jake, he's a showstopper. Completely flipped that match. So we might see something like that once again. Yeah, they're gonna have to. There it is. We hear the showstopper. On Instinct's side, he takes out one. Still, there's one also on Jake's side. He's looking for it. Almost finds one. Doesn't quite find it. Instinct takes him down. That's gonna be spiked down over on B. 
Chetty Bell finds the trade onto Instinct Smiley. Finds one as well alongside Caillou. Saints 4v1 yet again. You can see Chifu kind of knowing what was coming. Just ran in there. Died with honor. And now Saints put themselves on match point. They already won the first map 13-6. And if they can win this one... 13-6 <laughs> would be a bit of a deja vu for them, but they'd be very happy with that result none of the less. And so we're going to get into this maybe final round. A bit of a force by here from Concordia. They can't afford everything they would like, but about five seconds. It looks like Concordia yet again going to look to move up mid and take this mid control of Saints. Going to probably push up B here. Yes. It's going to be a very tense game here. Instinct already taking some damage. You know the Saints want to close this one out, especially with how back and forth these games have been. Chifu in mid, trying to spray it down, trying to get some advantage, getting some info by sending the Shadow Ball back there. Oh, going to be destroyed anyways. Now, Concordia St. Paul taking this very carefully, but maybe too carefully. Every time they spend a little bit too much time, they end up making these dire last-ditch decisions. They never work out for them. So I think they're going to make a little more of a decisive push on this A side. Yeah, only a couple members from the Saints here on this A side. Let's see how they play the defense. A nice little open smoke there. Jake taken down to 4 HP and going to get shot through the smoke. That's a great start for the side of the Saints. Seth with a huge, huge blind there as well. It looks like Concordia are just pushing in here, playing very aggressively. I don't think the Saints expected that, but the spike is dropped. Saints have a nice position here. 3v2, 2v2. Chetty going to find one through the wall there, through the smoke there actually. As Saints have to be careful here, but they do have the spike down right next to them. The flank is coming through Giza. It has his eyes on that one as he knows there's going to be members here trying to find a pick seconds. through the smoke. Another smoke comes out from the Omen. The Saints having the spike down is so, so crucial, but still, they have to keep eyes on both entrances. Giza waiting for someone to walk through that smoke. Finds the first pick. Seth going to pick the other one up. That's going to be it. The game. Saints take the series 2-0 as they look to continue their way through these winter playoffs. Yeah, an amazing game from the Saints and from Concordia St. Paul. Yeah. They made this very competitive when he expected that second map to go a little bit more smoothly for the Saints, but they kept things better. And especially Chetty Val almost clutching it all up for his team there at the end. But unfortunately, the numbers don't lie. The Saints had the advantage. Props to Kai, props to the entire team. Props to everybody here. That was an amazing day. So let's do a quick review. Yeah, let's do a quick review. Saints taking on Fisher in Overwatch. They were able to take the series 2-1, uh, and then that moved them to 7-0, and then they played... I'm not too sure who they... They, they played uh, IWU. I think that was Illinois way. Oh, yeah, they did play Illinois, and they won down as well. So they West finished Lane. They finished their uh, old WCC groups, uh, Swiss stage 8-0, one, mm -hmm. one of the two teams to do so. So they're going to have an incredibly high seed going into the playoffs. And then we just saw Valorant, our Saints, able to take the series 2-0 as they continue their flawless run. Yeah, so it was a great day for the Saints all around. Wins all around. But now, with everything over, we're going to close things out. Thank you to everybody in the back. Daniil, Amanda. Thank you, Ari, for observing. Thank you, TJ, for observing as well. Thank you, Theo, for joining me up here. And thank you for Mr. Danners for making sure we're all in our right places and producing this whole operation. Thank you, the viewer, for joining us here. And make sure to thank our sponsors as well. Thank you, Tim Hortons, Subway, St. Clair SRC, St. Clair College Alumni Association. And, HyperX. And HyperX, of course, can't forget HyperX. And then join us, not tomorrow, but Monday for some Call of Duty and Counter-Strike. That is going to be starting up around 8 o'clock. So join us then. And don't forget to follow our socials as well to stay up to date on all things Saints-related. Tournaments, streams, whatever you want. Events, giveaways. We do a lot of awesome stuff over there. So make sure to follow us there. But with all that being said, everybody, I think that is all we have here today. So we're going to say goodbye. Enjoy your night. And we'll see you on Monday. Goodbye.